Okay, guys. We're trailing the ABCs. Okay, get ready. Dude, actually, for real, though, I've never understood that whole thing where, like, a, where they're like, oh, you... Like a cop asks or something for you to like list the fucking alphabet backwards to prove that you're not drunk. I literally could not list the fucking alphabet backwards after W if you paid me a million dollars to do it. If you told me to do that shit fast, I would look at you blink really slowly and then probably just walk away. No one does that. That's what that if someone's just fucking lo like launches the whole alphabet backwards, I mean they practice because they thought they'd be put on the spot about it eventually. Ugh. Honestly, if someone listed the alphabet backwards quickly, when tasked to do it, I'd be like, okay, well, they're not drunk. They're probably on some fucking hard drugs because that's the only way their fucking neurons could connect those lines. You gotta be fucking absolutely blasted on Benadryl to be getting that kind of fucking performance, okay? You gotta be totally whacked out to be doing something like that. Also pretty funny, who's the 31st president of the United States? Dude, imagine fucking basing the goddamn, like, like, level of substances in someone's system. What, on trivia factoids, you know? Like... That's wild. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking... Uh... It's like, you know, when you enter, like, the perfect middle, you enter the section where you just think of what's the most comical president you didn't care about that died in, like, the fucking, like, 1800s or, like, 1900s. And, I mean, like, yeah, I can toss a couple ones out there. Like, Taft? <laughs> I don't know. Garfield's funny. That's a funny name. But, like, I just also don't care and don't know. I don't care. President Garfield got assassinated and no one cared. Whoa, man. Whoa, I said I didn't care about the number. I didn't say I don't care about him getting fucking destroyed out there. What the heck? Whoa! You gotta relax, man. You're just freaking people out. Did he die on a Monday? Just tell it to me straight, Doc. Was it Monday? Tell it to me straight. He did die on a Monday. No way it was on a Monday. Dude, that's... That might be the roughest thing I ever heard. Damn. <laughs> no way it was Monday. There's just no way, right? It was. No. Dude. Holy shit, that's wild. His last meal was lasagna. All right, either these are all jokes and people are fucking lying to me, or Jim Davis designed the entirety of Garfield's concept based off of the assassination of one of the presidents of the United States. <laughs> Down to the day, which is pretty wild. Damn. The frick is lasagna. Holy crap, shut up. Oh my god. Dude, I want lasagna real bad. I want myself some lasagna. Hell yeah. Damn. Got a good Italian places around that make good pasta dishes, but none of them really do lasagna. They all do 
like all their different other kinds of pastas. And sometimes a man just wants a real old, you know, real good old pile of lasagna. Sometimes a man just desires some lasagna. You know. As opposed to the fake lasagna. Dude, I just... Yes, I could make it myself. As a matter of fact, I've made it myself many times. It's just... I just don't want to make it myself. You know, like, lasagna is one of those things where you may... You get it. Like, you have a sudden urge for lasagna. But you don't really want to make it. <laughs> you know? You kind of just want it now. He said the word... <laughs> Stop! Disgusting. What about the microwave one? Microwavable lasagna? No, dude. Like frozen? Like a frozen dish of it? Nah, dude, fresh. It's gotta be fresh. It needs to be fresh. Fresh lasagna. Please. Please. Also, just to get out of the way, since uh, last time I streamed my computer blue screen, I missed some notifications. I just wanted to, uh... The Usman is the... If the Usman can hear this, uh, thank you for the $115. I missed a cheer when my computer blue screen last streamed because all my notifi notifications were closed right after. So thank you, the Usman, for that. That's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. $115. That's enough for two lasagna. Maybe even a third. If I'm careful. Oh yeah. I had to get up early today, so I'm kind of a little sleepy. I'm drinking a lot of caffeine. I got a lot of caffeine in the system today, Chad. Uh, I am a little out of it. I was gonna play, uh, I was gonna play that Bramble the Mountain King game. But then I realized I was, I was not going to make it the five hours I would have to put into that game to beat it. In one sitting. It's like a six hour or five hour game. And then on top of it, uh, whenever I tried to like, make more than five steps, the narrator would start talking. I started to realize that maybe this game didn't want me to be goofing around in the background. So I just decided against it and I won't be streaming it, I don't think. I'll probably just play it on my own because I heard it's really good. So instead I got some other stuff. It's so pretty. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna fucking absolutely... I was gonna stream it today. It's just, it's too long. It's, it, problem is, I looked up like a full playthrough, because I always do. I always, I'm always that guy who I'm trying to figure out the length of a game. I'll look it up on YouTube or something and see how long like the averages are for people and shit like that. Most people were putting it at four and a half, but they were like, you know, not like streamers. You know what I mean? So like, Really, realistically, six, six and a half. I just don't fucking want to do that today. <laughs> I just don't want to do that. Streamer! Bit long for a day where I had to wake up like four hours earlier than usual to like do adult things. When I can instead enjoy a nice three to four hour video game here. Why, what an excellent deal. What, a, what an excellent deal. What a, what a great bargain. Yes. And then tomorrow, we'll play another, we'll play another game. Isn't that, a, now isn't that just one of the most exciting things ever? Yeah, there, there's no D&D &D tonight, but I got other things going on that are going to occupy my time, such as uh, over the last three days, I've just watched every episode of, like, Succession straight because they, they're finishing the series this, like, month or next month, and I'm, I'm finished. I'm going through the whole thing. Never watched it before. So I've just been watching a show every day. 
I just don't have time for anything else, really. Even this is just... You guys know what I mean, all right? That's some hardcore watching. I am I am the premier binge watcher. I will, like, put off actual plans and things I'm supposed to be doing. Once I, <laughs> once I start watching something, it's on. Okay? It's on. I don't... I don't fuck around once I start watching, like, a show that has, like, six seasons. I don't commit to, like, huge shows, but I'll do, like, if it says four seasons and it says last season is the fourth one or something, I'm in. I don't know what to say. I'm in. And I'm gonna do it all in, like, a week. Watch One Piece. I'd rather fucking- I'd actually rather throw myself down an open well than watch One Piece. I did my time, man. I I literally did. I did watch One Piece, and I would still throw myself... Like, I, I watched enough One Piece. I think I, I remember when I was... Like, I must have been maybe 16 or 17. I watched One Piece up until, like, this the Sky Island arc. And then I said, this shit is fucking boring me, so I skipped a bunch of it. And then I got, and then I watched like a bunch in the middle. And then I was like, you know what the problem is? <laughs> I should be reading it. And then I read it and I caught up and I'm happy and I don't care. And that was a long time ago. And now all the investment I have to it is once a week, I will open up my local legally sourced website that provides me with the panels for the manga and I will occasionally catch up on like the last two three weeks I miss if I feel like it it's empowering to have this much control over my time I refuse to engage with it at all it's just so much dude I listen there's no excuse. Actually, there's no there's no issue with having a show that you watch for the next 18 years of your life. But that was something that like maybe 15 year old me could justify. But as my time has become more and more valuable to me, I've had to look around and reevaluate whether or not the the amount of time investment is worth it versus me enjoying like 18 other forms of media instead. You know? You have less time every moment you exist. Yells a chat member in all caps. It's true. It's true. And when I'm on my fucking deathbed, I don't want to think about the 15 fucking chapters, okay, that that they stretched into the fucking anime over the course of 50 episodes. I don't want to think about that. I got through that shit in fucking two minutes on a piece of paper. This guy's a fucking streamer and he thinks he's using his time wisely. <sighs> Bro. Dude, I mean, I could say a thousand comebacks or something. They'd all be mean. <laughs> They'd all be too mean. So I'll smile and nod and take another sip of my coffee. I'm entering, I'm entering my, I should be nicer <laughs> arc. <laughs> I'm entering my seethe quietly arc, I think. be meaner nah man are you <laughs> sick or something nah i've just been in a relatively better mood lately and as a result i think i don't really have as much of an incentive to fucking punch around as much you know i've actually been like pretty good which means something's about to go horribly wrong which means things are about to go very wrong for me.
Chef takes off. Chef takes it off. Yeah, you're about to buy a house. Smile. I mean, I'm. Uh, that'd be cool. I mean, that would be epic, but that's not why. There's not really like a reason why. I've just not. I've just been like a good. I've been working out again. I've been like doing things. I've been hanging out with friends more. I've just been having like a good time. I've just been in a good mood. It's spring. Seasons do not affect my mood. I will say, I will say that. Seasons do not affect my like truly. I don't go out enough for them to affect my mood. <laughs> that that I will just I'll be very honest with that. Uh I think a lot of it's just being active again in like the sense of like I have been focusing more on like eating healthier and be like moving around, doing things and all that crap. And I mean like it it does just make me happier. What kind of food we talking? I'm not like dude, I'm not torturing myself. I'm not fucking eating like raw kale like some animal. Alright, but like I I'm not like I'm now here I'm not out here like ordering like fucking 18 tacos anymore and wondering why I'm like miserable. Dude, kale's good. Kale is good. It's just the first thing that came to mind. That said, I'm not a big salad guy, and I never will be, I don't think. Like that in order for a salad to be good to me, I have to really load it up on dressings, and that's kind of at, at a certain point, you're faking it. Like it's not even you know, fruit salad. Nah, dude, I'll eat like all the fruit separate. <laughs> And I don't mean that in like, a, I can't have my fruit touching. I mean like in the way of like, I'll just fucking pick up the whole thing and take a big bite out of this and then a big bite out of that. Like, I don't really feel like cutting it all up, putting it all into something. Walk and eat, let's go. I'll just pick up the apple and eat it. Take a big handful of blueberries and eat them. Bro eats one bite of each fruit. Dude, shut up! I don't do that, I'm normal! Although my family has started, I think, noticing that I'm like ordering like more specific foods in the sense of like, I I want, I was curious about like certain kinds of specific, my, look, my family is a kind of family that gets like pre-graded Romano and Parm and shit. And I like was just like, I wonder if like, you know, if we get like a fucking like small wedge of like the real deal, Romano, if it's like good or not, I like bought it and my family's looking at me like I'm a psycho when I'm like, they think that it's like a cheesy just slice and eat. And I like bought like an actual like good grading cheese. And they're looking at me like I'm a maniac. Dude, I just wanna like, I just wanna try new things. Fresh parm is crazy good. Dude. I can't look at graded, pre-graded cheeses anymore. <laughs> I actually can't look at it anymore. I actually fucking can't. I really can't. Like, I actually really can't do it. Once you go wedge, you can't go back. I mean, truly, yeah. I need to get a better, I, need, I actually like need to get a better grader. Cause you can tell from the one that's in my house that it's not used very much and is old. Because everyone's like a pre-graded cheese comes in a bag from the convenience store shit. Craft Parm better than a wheel from Reggiano. I fucking hate, I don't like you. No, that's mean. I feel bad. No, that's also mean. I don't understand you. No, that's also mean. I, uh, craft is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna target you. I'm gonna target the brand. I fucking hate craft. Although, I will say this isolated exclusively in the realm of nasty mac and cheese, I make it 5 a.m. while I'm like out of it. In that situation, 
it's okay. Exclusively when I'm making like nasty mac and cheese. And it's disgusting, but sometimes, sometimes disgusting nasty foods from a box is a comfort. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. Are you good, bro? Yeah, I'm fine. Dude, sometimes you just want like a 5 a.m. mech. I'm not a big chat. Sometimes like I just let sometimes I just got stuff on the brain and I can't sleep. I think everyone has that every once in a while. And especially when you have a job that like doesn't really like I don't have to get up like really early or anything. I, I'm not a lay in my bed and wait to fall asleep person. I'm a well, I guess I'm going to get up and like do something else and like grab a snack or something because eating doesn't keep me up. So I'll just like make food at 5 a.m. I don't care. I'm not going to waste time in bed, like, waiting to sleep. I think that's... Because, like, not much really clocks me out other than me just getting my brain off of it. Because it's usually, like, something in my head that's keeping me up. It's not that I'm, like, not sleepy. It's that, like, I have something in my brain going around. So I'll, like, just get up and do other things. Sometimes a 5 a.m. Mac is all I need. The parasite. Nah, sometimes I just got that brain worm. Yeah, I got the brain goblin. But like, you know, I think it's better to fuck off out of the room that you're trying to force yourself to sleep in and do anything else than sit on it and continue to pointlessly fucking ponder something that won't change. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're still up at 5 a.m., what time you normally end up being able to fall asleep? 5.30. Like, Chad, it's like in, like, once it's out of my brain, it's out of my brain again. But the problem is if it's in my brain, I can't force it out of my brain, like, laying down in my bed trying to sleep. It'll never happen. I have to get up and, like, do something. Even if it's, like, even if it's, like, just running on the treadmill for, like, a half an hour, I have to get up and, like, do something nowadays. watch someone's stream. I do not watch many of my many people stream, really in general. Because, uh, frankly, as far as I'm concerned, one, uh, I don't think it's very healthy to, when you're stressed out about anything or have anything on your brain, to go and watch people on the platform at which I work and regularly have normal adult stress over. You know, that's like, that's like OMEGA unhealthy. That's like, that's like bad. That's a bad habit to go and like, I, I don't know. I think, I think beyond like a friend or two that are playing something that I actively like enjoy watching someone play, like watching someone play like a game that I'm really passionate about, like Outer Wilds or something. I'm not really on Twitch. Cause I think it's, I don't think it's healthy for me. But you know, you guys know when Markiplier's live, man. I don't know if they even stream. You know when Markiplier's live, man. I'm in there, dude. I'm in the fucking trenches. All right. I'm in there. Hell yeah. I'm in there, dude. Oh god, is this that fucking video that has the really loud music at the end? Just rewind manually. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Not watching Jack though, very interesting. <laughs> very, huh, weird streamer that you're not watching Jack. <laughs> Something wrong? <laughs> uh... It's funny how like a stupid bit where I made like one joke has become a long-term enough thing where people will actually come into the chat and be like, why does Tomato hate Jacksepticeye? Why does he hate him? 
Well, I've interacted with him about three or four times in real life, and every single time he was one of the nicest guys I'd ever met. Uh, that's the actual line sort of it. Damn, man! Damn, man! Fuck! Yeah, but tell us how you really feel. He unfollowed me on Twitter, guys. Kicks dirt. I'm not relevant, and I haven't been in... Well... When did I stop YouTube? Deserved, I fear? Oh, I mean... <laughs> shit! Chat, no one should be following me on Twitter. The last tweet I made in a year was a fucking sponsored tweet. If any of my friends stopped following me on Twitter, I'd be like, probably a good fucking call. Like, I'd still make a joke about it. But like, I don't use it. I don't use it. Your Twitter used to be so good though. Yeah, here's the problem with Twitter, right? I already don't like being on Twitch for the most part because I like will end up lingering on it and like getting in, like watching streams and then being stuck on the platform by which I still work and I don't like that. Uh, but Twitter, I also then can't even find escape because Twitter encourages you to constantly revisit notifications for dopamine. Uh, I don't like using Twitter. I don't like actively even opening it. I think it's unhealthy. Matter of fact. Beyond turning on stream, I don't like use much of any of it. He hates the internet. I don't hate the internet, but I hate where my brain goes when I go on the internet for long periods of time. Does that make sense? I'm in my... I'm in my... What the heck? My antivirus software is telling me I'm being hacked. And by telling me I'm being hacked, I think I need to renew my antivirus software. Oh my god. St Chat, whoever's doing this, you need to stop. You need to stop this right now. The only reason I still have a Twitter is honestly because sometimes I'll be DM'd by like a old mutual friend whom I still follow and it's nice to have the option open like the option of contact with someone open despite all of that otherwise I literally would destroy it I wouldn't have one anymore I really don't care about it you know You respond to your old friend DMs? I am... I don't think it's a fucking shocker to most of my friends that I'm not very good at, uh... I'm not good at... I'm not, I'm not good at sending messages. Uh... But it's not out of, like, a... It's not out of, like, a anti-social thing. It's out of a... Uh, one... I'm not really... I don't really, like, peer... They, essentially, if my friends want to get my attention, they have to, they have to like, at me. Or like shit, or like actively hassle me, and that sucks. I, w I wish I was better at that, but also simultaneously, I don't like having notifications for Discord on, because <laughs> I'll just check it over and over. Like if I have shit in my head where I'm like, I should check this because someone's probably gonna want to reach me or something, like it actively distracts me, like really bad. So I just don't usually have much of that stuff on, because like, like hell, that's why I don't like it. It, it just all piles on, you know. If I see a red number, or like a number next to any icon ever, I'm like oddly, you know, it just it just lingers in my brain. It's not like I'm checking it 24 seven, but I don't like stuff lingering in my head, you know? I don't like obsess over it, but it's like, I don't like stuff lingering in my head. The less lingering I have, the better, so I can stay focused on other things. And then I look at, like, Shane send a picture of, like, his notifications on Discord. And it's invented a new character for the number on it. It says something I've never seen before. There's, like, some odd squiggles that have never been invented yet. Because Discord AI generated a new number because he's got 18 trillion billion, like, Googleplexes of information. 
Have you seen Sam's? I don't care to know Sam's. I, I don't care to know Sam's, honestly. I don't want to know. <laughs> No. I'm out of coffee, dude. It's bad. Oh, I got up way too early today. Why did I do this? Dude, every time that like I have to schedule like a, any kind of call or anything, they always give me the out to be like, what time are you thinking you want to get in this call? And I'm always like, you tell me. You tell me, I'll schedule around you. And then I get dunked on every time. I don't understand why my brain goes to being as like fucking considerate as possible with anyone that wants to schedule shit with me. But it always gets me owned. It always gets me owned. Because they're always gonna be like, all right, fucker, 7 a.m. See ya then. Because they just, because no one wants the 7 a.m. So I get their fucking, like, trash scheduling times. They always just pick the first earliest thing they have to fill it. And I get owned. And then I'm sitting here blinking out of sync with my eyes. Ugh. How am I supposed to conduct business like this? How the hell am I supposed to conduct my business? <laughs> How is anyone supposed to survive like this? Seven AM isn't early if you never slept. I'm in like I'm in a kind of twilight situation right now where like I'm in a, like a twilight zone. I go to sleep at just uncomfortable enough time like I'm not my schedule's not fucked but it's just uncomfortable enough that I'm waking up at like 1 p.m. most of the time like I'll go to sleep at like 5 4 35 a.m. I'll wake up at like 1 p.m. 12 31 p.m. I want it to be sooner but that's where I'm at that's 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 my life right now and to be frank without like an actual forced thing forcing me to get up multiple times in a row to adjust that it's not happening it's not going to change more than that like that's realistic it's not going to get better than that unless like i had an excuse to force it further I don't have that kind of determination. I'm just not that strong. Cause once I get, once it gets like late night and everyone's like sleeping and like people are like, like getting out of here and all that shit. Like no, like no one's online, no one's doing anything. That's like my time to like activate, watch a show and like fucking like do, do stuff that I don't want like I don't want, like, any outside fucking distractions for a minute. I want, like, to focus on something. That's my, that's the dark hours. Got that ADHD circadian rhythm. I... Listen, all right, I see a lot of people floating that. I know that I've also mentioned that I likely have some kind of undiagnosed ADHD, but I don't know. I don't know. I probably do, but at the same time, I don't feel like I need medication for it if I do. I'm very, I'm, I would call myself, I, I would say I'm functioning quite well, and I'm not miserable. Could have used it in high school if I did. I probably, probably, probably could have used some help back in like education for that. But uh, 
I mean, hey, no one wrote seven, ten page essays in like four hours quite like I did. All right, no one really blasted out full projects in like the evening window between like 11 a.m. and 5, or sorry, 11 p.m. to like 5 a.m. quite like me. And I did that before AI helped me. All right, I, I did that shit all on my own. Blast that shit. Hyperfocus is an ADHD thing too. Yeah, but think about it like this though. You know, for all the miserable shit that I like, th here's the thing, here's the thing, chat. There wouldn't be a career here for me if I didn't have fucking ADHD making me deliberately fucking procrastinate on my actual real world school obligations because I was more interested in doing anything else at the time. All right, like I, I'd be in like a fucking college dorm like getting my fucking masters or some shit right now. This is cope. <laughs> yeah, maybe. A lot of streamers got that ADHD. Well, that's the secret is that it's just a lot. I would also say it's a lot of people have ADHD or a lot of people have some form of something or other and they don't have it diagnosed. So they never know. You know, that that's just the fundamental reality of our brains. Uh, a lot of people probably have a lot of things. You know. <laughs> ADHD is not real. <laughs> yeah, who knows? I'm never gonna go to- I unless like something urgently like- Unless I was like, holy shit, I can't fucking work anymore. I don't think I'd ever go to get anything diagnosed anyways or tested. Doesn't really change my life anymore. I'm in. I'm pretty in my lane. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Two hundred ping IRL. Holy shit. <laughs> Of all the insane shit people have been saying in chat all day, that's the one that got to me. It's the brain latency that gets me. Why would you- how could you say that for me? What would you do if Twitch died? I don't know, go to YouTube? It's not like I don't have options. I mean, I wouldn't have options if like, when Twitch died, every single person that watched me was like, well, I guess that's it. And they all went and got like their suits on and went to go like enter the business world and never return. But like that, that, that's basic, it, that, like it would have to be a full exodus of every single audience member that's ever watched my streams for me to really like be that, you know. <laughs> if your Twitch dies, I'm out. And that's about all I can say. Pack it up. Facebook gaming. No, 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 <laughs> oh, no, no. Someone asked what my final opinion as of now with Shadows of Doubt is. Uh, I love it. I can't wait for that game. We're not going to play it again, though, until it's done. But, uh, that game is hands down one of the most interesting and unique immersive sims to come out in the last like 10 years 
Uh, it just needs to, it just needs some polish. It's really janky, it's got a lot of bugs, but once it gets that polish, that game's gonna slap hard, dude. If it got modding support, that game would be absolutely insane. But like, that's, I feel like it's very unfair to like solo devs, especially like people that are working on their own and are already making some insanely quality product to put additional pressure on them to make modding support for their game. That's like, that's like actually psycho shit. That's extremely entitled consumer bullshit to be like, yeah, this is cool, y'all. How about you also make it so I can add more stuff to your game? Please make a modding API. Just give me the open source code for your video game, please. Will you ever stream it? No. I don't think I will be. Uh, and I definitely, I definitely haven't streamed it twice already in the last two streams, if you were to check the past broadcasts. Who knows, man? Who knows? What's a ride? <sighs> People just don't understand anymore. First he doesn't stream it, stream it then, he, then he taunts us with it. The amount, dude, I don't want to get, like, toxic. But I'm going to get really toxic. I have seen people ask in the Discord if Tomato has ever streamed a certain kind of game. They'll just say, has Tomato ever streamed insert this game? And the amount of times that I have hovered over going to the website and going to like fucking let me Google that for you and just typing in that exact question because I know the first result is going to be a YouTube VOD of me streaming that game. Boy, dude, the amount of strength it requires for me. It requires an immense amount of strength to not immediately go full asshole mode because holy cr dude i don't think i ha i'm running out of strength i'm running out of strength because like it's like at the very least like with very recent stuff it's harder to find like if you look up tomato gaming like shadows of doubt it's not going to show up as its own unique link so like sure whatever not everyone not everyone's tuned into like twitch vod like twitch technicality stuff but like once it's gone onto the youtube channel that it, like pe people don't people don't use Google. They just don't use the Google. Google is for boomers. Yeah, but if Google can find it, then I'm sure your other fucking, like, oddly specific search engine can also find the exact same result. <laughs> I'm sure they can all do it. And if it can't find it, I'm going to be, I'm going to be real. It's not like it's a very well-hidden link to a public VOD on YouTube. So if it can't find it, sounds like you need a different search engine. I don't use a search engine. I only navigate the web through direct links. Yeah. Yeah. All 
All right, raise your hand. Who actually uses Bing? Because it's a meme, right? Like, people... I know it exists still, but, like... No one? Yeah, but what about Yahoo? <laughs> yeah, fuck Bing, though. What about Yahoo? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. What about Yahoo? Come on. It's the fun one. <laughs> what about Yahoo? That's the fun one. Yahoo's the fun one. I forgot Yahoo existed. It's the fun one. How could you forget the fun one? It says Yahoo, which is like implied fun. Nintendo in shambles for losing Bing and Yahoo. What do you mean Nintendo? <laughs> Wait, did Nintendo? What do you mean Nintendo in shambles? Did Nintendo like invest in search engines at one point? What are you talking about? You mean Yahoo as in Mario makes that sound? That's a Mario joke right there. God, I fucking hate that guy. I'm a Sonic kid, as you guys may know. So, like, I appreciate it if you get that... that name out of here. Alright. Thanks. Uh, uh, first game I ever played was Sonic, so I don't know what to say. Mario can go to hell. Yeah, cool movie, Mario. You know who has two of those? Certain hedgehog guy now. That's all I'm saying. Pathetic. Soon to be a third. Pathetic again. Mario also has two. Let's all relax. <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 for sure, dude. Yeah, <laughs> let's come. Yeah, you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want we want to get into TV shows because uh, if we want to get if we want to enter that realm as well, I think Sonic's got a couple extra on Mario as well. Like we can do this. We can get into a fucking we can get into a slug match about this, but uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna like how this plays out. <laughs> Earthworm, Jim, or nothing. Shh, nah. I don't think really people care about Earthworm, Jim, is the problem. And I say that as someone who owned and played Earthworm Jim, I think it's just... And I, I say that as someone who liked Earthworm Jim, it's just no one cares. What about Spyro? We can't get into this. We can't get into a fucking match to which, like, which franchise is the best one. Like, that's, uh, we can't get, it, we'd be here all day. We'd be here actually all day. Want to get into mascot wars? I can't do this. I just can't. I don't have the fucking strength in my body. Look at how frail and old I am. Do you really want to kill me that bad? You want me to raise my fucking heart rate by another, like, two and have my heart just explode in my chest because I'm so old? You really want to kill me like that? Is that how you want me to go? Screaming about Bubsy? And like, Crash Bandicoot? That's not how I go. Alright? That's not how I go. I don't have the strength anymore. I'm withering away! You're only 28. <laughs> Mud, go into their fucking chat history and see if they said 27 last week and then ban them if they fucking did. Let's see if they've been raising it every single time. Ban them if they did. Go in and see if they've been slowly raising the age. Do this. Do this for me, please. They talk a lot. Scroll. You should start now. You should start now. Then.
starts calling, please. Please and thank you. Get them! Defend me! Please, defend me! Dude, I'm 26. I'm 26. 27. Stop! Dude, I will not be. All right, unacceptable conduct from my moderators. Uh, unacceptable. I would, I would actually say unacceptable. Uh, you can't say that. Can't, you actually can't do that. I'm writing it in the lore book. What the fuck? What book? All right, where's this book you've been talking about? The lore book. You bought a book for the lore. So you can write in it. Damn. Down a lot more than $2 now from the sounds of things. Anyways, it's time to learn about the alphabet chat. Boy, oh boy, I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't know about all of you, but I've been so excited to hang out with Amanda, the adventurer, and see what kind of adventures we can all get up to. Hope you all are excited to learn your A, Bs, and... Uh... Well, well, that's what we're gonna fucking learn now, isn't it? Isn't it? We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna learn it now! We're gonna learn it right now. And if you don't get it right... All right. Well, uh... Well, that's not gonna be good for you, is it? It is all, of course. On the test. It's all on the test, unfortunately. Is that a threat? No, 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 it's not a threat. It's just... I'm just telling you how it is. It's on the... It is all on the test. I haven't studied. Well, it's fine. It's... You, you'll do fine. You'll do fine. Well, as long as you know your ABCs. If you don't know those, um... Well, that'd be... That'd be pretty bad. New game! Dear Riley, if you're reading this, it means you won't see me again unless it's in the next live. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, could've just led with Dear Riley, I'm dead. Would've saved me some time. Uh, rather than the roller coaster there. Uh,. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have, and there's still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes, to say goodbye and to bequeath to you my house in Kensdale. This part may be a mistake, and gods forgive me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape, but know that once you watch it, there's no going back. Stay safe, my dear. With you always, Aunt Kate. Oh my god. I'm not going in that attic. Why the hell would I even? Dude, I, what? Why the hell would anyone, like, what's the, what's the benefit of, like, in, like, you know, getting involved in the dark past of a dead family member? You know, it's like, it's not like they're gonna. Like, what, what, unless they're actively, unless they put in a fucking note at the end that was like, P.S. I'm planning on being a ghost, and I will be watching if you don't, like, finish my dark work. I'll be so mad. Closure? Nah, dude, they already gave me a house. Nah, dude, what do you fucking mean? They already gave me a whole house. Closure. Yeah. Maybe... 
Maybe boredom. Maybe I'm bored. 3 a.m. Well, here we are. Aunt Kate's attic. We should, uh, take a look around and uh, see if there's anything, um, anything weird going on. Oh, it's the same letter. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. With you always. That's why we're doing this. She is haunting us. See what I say? That's probably them and like, that's probably, they probably possess this horrifying doll. Okay, there's some nasty shit in here. Ah, uh, well. Amanda, the adventurer in the kitchen. Now, Chad, if we plug this in and we watch this, I think we have a ring situation on our hands. You know what I mean? Like we are going to be, we are going to be in it. We're going to be haunted by the ghoul that's inside of this VHS. So I don't, I don't think it's responsible to watch it, but this is a video game, so I probably should. Wait a minute. Aunt Kate, thank you so much for the roller skates. Daddy and I went skating at the lake yesterday. He fell down. Don't tell him I told you that. He can't, I can't wait to see you at summer vacation. Love, Riley. Yeah. So this is like a this game has both like horror mechanics and like an ARG kind of like escape room situation going on is I believe how it works. So we're gonna go ahead and watch the first tape. Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Hi, Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. All right, well, no one fucking What's asked. What's your favorite kind of pie? All right, well, she asked me, Wooly. I don't know why the fuck. Dude, honestly, kind of a dick move to be like, to like set Amanda up in this space to be like, we're making an apple pie and then immediately dumpster the idea right in front of her. <laughs> it's kind of a dick move, Wooly. Like, that's kind of like a, that's like an asshole thing to do. Like, she sets up making an apple pie and then Wooly immediately goes, and that's my least favorite one. I actually would prefer any other pie. Uh, let's see here. I've got six spaces. What's a, what's a six letter word for a pie? Uh, no, my favorite pie is blueberry pie, followed by apple. Uh, pecan? No one fucking likes pecan. That's five letters. But so is apple. Uh, cherry? I've never had cherry. I'm trying- Chad, I gotta be honest. Amanda's gonna know. Chad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Chad, Chad, I'm not gonna fucking lie. <laughs> banana. Never had banana. I'm not gonna lie. If I lie, she's gonna know, and she's gonna kill me. All right. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, I, uh, yeah, I like, uh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go with, I'll just go with Amanda. I mean, like, it doesn't even, Apple doesn't even fit in this, but I'm sure that's fine. I'll just say, I'll just say, uh, I'll just say apple. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Yeah. Today, we're yeah. going to make an apple pie. Yeah. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Uh, probably like a, a, a sword, a knife, um... Uh, like big, big old, like, I don't know, hedge trimmer, uh, fucking, uh, weed whacker. There's like a lot, like, it depends on how clean you want the cut. Like a, like a, we, if you want, you could like throw like a axe at it from like a pretty good distance away. Um, I'm gonna just, let's just play along. All right, Chad, let's all just play along. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna play along. 
with Amanda here. I don't. I don't really want to. I don't want. I don't want to be on Wooly's side here. He seems like an asshole. Ah. Uh, knife. Good job. Whoa. We can use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. Yeah, Wooly's right, it's Amanda. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate. All right, <laughs> relax, <laughs> Amanda. That doesn't seem safe. Yeah, uh, maybe okay, we should Willie, slow down. Uh, yeah. well, uh, that uh, was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Ah, uh, well, um, first of all, those apples are... They're, they're still uncut. They're essentially... They're just raw, whole apples. Honestly, I... I guess you haven't washed them yet, even. Uh... I don't know, I mean, like... We know they're in the pantry, but I kind of want to, like, piss Amanda off a little bit, because I feel like I've been a little too... A, a little too... It's been a little too easy out here, all right? I think I might just lie. I think I might just, like... Yeah, I'm going to say it's in the fridge, I think. I'm, I'm going to say the fridge. I'm going to I'm gonna subvert her expectations for a second and, like, confuse her. Nope. Try again. Don't you want to help me? Honestly, Amanda, after the pirate outburst... I would describe it as the pirate outburst. I think maybe we should call an adult. Because, like, you are swinging that knife around and describing yourself as a pirate. Which, um... I would say is unacceptable. Um... I've never swung a knife around like that. And especially not around a good friend like Wooly. It, honestly, it goes to show that perhaps you don't have very much respect for your own safety or the safety of others. So, where's the sugar? I should kill the fridge. Fridgey is dead. They're fucking dead. They had a real life. They were the way they were a living, moving character, and they're dead. They're gone. Chat. And now the oven's not moving. Yo, oven. Oven, where's Fridge at? Are they off camera? Blink if they're just off camera. All right, well, Wooly seems to be still okay, so maybe stuff's it's in the pantry. It's in the pantry, okay? Great, let's oh. make a pie. Hmm, can you smell the apples and cinnamon? No. Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. Yeah, well. We should always ask a parent to help. I mean, that oven's sentient, sure honestly, Wooly. It's right. not like the knife, like this thing, We're maybe. On our own, Willy. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Okay. Now, put it in the oven. That ain't how it's it supposed to look, Amanda, minutes. you idiot. It's, that's not a... That is a baked apple. Ready. I can't wait to eat it. Willie, let's have some pie. I'm sorry. Did, did Amanda say that app? I got stunned like by the apple in the tin part. Did she say to cook it at one lone apple in the pie tin in an oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes? One singular apple in, in 425 for 40 minutes. Dude, this, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm not so sure about this apple, guys. <laughs> What the? How you get there? How you get up on the table, man? That don't make no sense. Where's Amanda? I'm gonna make a... I guess we're gonna... Make a pie. Okay, guys. So, if everyone remembers, we need to grab one apple. Put it in the pie tin. That's kind of not sanitary. Uh, open it. We're gonna set the temperature to 425 for 30, 40 minutes. 
It's pre- do, hang on, do I know if it's preheated? Oh, fuck. Doesn't matter. Preheat. I'm gonna let that preheat. Ruined. Chat, I don't think this is a real apple. Matter of fact, I can see a crease in it. I can see like a seam. I can actually see a seam. I also don't even think this is a real oven. Okay, guys. Ding! It's preheated. It's time to make a pie. Okay, everyone get ready. Here we go. Mmm. Yum, yummy. <laughs> now let's... Now let's get that on out onto a plate, chat. Now let's get that out onto a plate. Let's get this. Let's get. Let's dig on in. Mm mm mm. What's this say right here? Amanda the adventurer in your neighborhood. Huh? No no no. Maybe it's someone else's neighborhood. Not in. Maybe not in this neighborhood. Maybe not in this neighborhood, though, right? VHS? Maybe in... <sighs> Probably nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just a vague... You know, title doesn't mean anything. Hi, friends! I'm Amanda! And I'm Woolly. Hi, Amanda and what Woolly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? I don't fucking That's know. That's great. I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Amanda, Today, what's up with the I fucking... Send something what's up with the corpse outline on the ground First, of the sidewalk? You gotta get out of there. You cross like fucking police tank. Card. Do you know where the store is? There's a murder scene. That or Mr. like... It kind of looks like Mr. Game & Watch at the same time, though. Like, if you added the nose, maybe this is like some kind of video game thing. There's four. Oh, fuck. Uh, what did she fucking ask me? What the hell did she ask me? What's the- John, I don't want to piss her off. They've killed and they'll kill again. Wooly! Wooly! Wooly, what did they ask me? Maybe I can just leave. Nope. I, 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 I want to go to the corner store. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Ah, uh, uh, they're, they're feeling sad. Well, maybe they also forgot their birthday. That'd be fun. I mean, that'd make me if I was really sad and someone sent me a birthday card, I'd be like, they rem <laughs> remembered. Even if they missed it by like a couple months, I'd be like, it must have been late, but it's the thought that counts. They were thinking about me. What we'd want to actually get them is the blabot. Uh, honestly, Amanda, you want to invest in something expensive. You want to invest in the Blabot. Great! I found the perfect card. Time for the next errand. When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend what a special I'm treat. Can I have a special treat? Yeah, yeah. I want to get my friend a special treat. Yeah, get Wooly something. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Hang on, Amanda, I, I was wondering, um, did you buy every card in 24-7 corner store, therefore closing it forever? Are they out of stock? Amanda, why is the 24-7 store closed, Amanda? Did someone die on the sidewalk? Uh... Nah. Nah, that's just ants. Someone dropped a perfect human-shaped pile of crumbs 
on the ground and ants came in and uh, they'd been snacking on it. It's just ants. Oh, I'm gonna go get a snack. Yeah, let's go to let's go get snacks. Good job. Let's go get that tree. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Mmm. Everything smells so good. I want to buy my friend some buy my friend some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? God, cookies are so derivative. Chad, that's the thing about cookies. They're so derivative. It's just a cookie. It means nothing. Now, if you want to get your friend something thoughtful, you don't get them a slice of cake either. It's too much for them. They'll never finish it. But a cupcake? Why? That's the perfect center. I don't think my friend will like that. What the fuck do you know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't mean to snap. It's just, uh... It's like I've, I've been here. I've been on this earth a lot longer than you. All right? And, uh... Cookies, cookies are like one of those things you can just like you don't you don't buy cookies you you make cookies all right that's something you bake with you share that moment with your friend and make cookies with them if you want to make cookies but like cupcakes get a nice like artisanal cupcake from a bakery that's a lot that's gonna mean a lot more I think in this context okay cookies is something that's simple enough that you share it as an experience with them and you make them together okay Amanda you fucking idiot I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just getting worked up because of all the bodies outside. She's on a budget. Get the cupcakes. I can't mail that to my friend. Why the fuck are you mailing anything to them? Don't mail food. What are you gonna do, put it in a fucking envelope? You idiot. You know how much work that, like, what do you? <laughs> Who mails food like that? Like you need to like, add, there are businesses online that do that. You'd want to go, you'd want to go to an online retail situation. You know, get them from a local store and then package them yourself, you sicko. I want the cookies! All right, Amanda, relax. No one was yelling until you started yelling. God, you're making a scene. Look at what you, do. look at how the, Look at how the baker is staring at us. Look at what you're doing. You're embarrassing yourself in front of all these people. Why? Don't raise your voice. All right, fine. We'll get the cookies. Those look so tasty. We just have one more stop in the neighborhood. The package is ready for my friend. They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it. Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait, I don't remember. Massive Can L. You help Dude, me? Amanda, we what the heck? Back tomorrow. You don't so remember their name? No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? I don't know. Just give the fucking gift to Wooly. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, Ma. Let's send it to my... Let's send it to my... Let's send it to, um, uh... I don't know. It's just kind of... I don't think you... Oh man, I'm just gonna be honest, I don't think you should mail it at all. Uh, how about you get... I have an idea. How about you send it directly to the person behind this desk who's probably been working here all day at the post office. Give it to mail. No, Give it to that's the mailman not my right friend's there. name. Well, I don't know what your fucking friend's name is. You have to know their name. <laughs> Fine. Send it to hell. What? Kit. Kit. No, 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 no,
Guys, when I type in H, it goes to K. We've... Wait a minute. I'm sending it to my Aunt Kate. So easy. Oh, that's heartwarming. Great work! Now we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes the cookies. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Huh? Wow, that tape, uh... Well, that tape's ruined now. It fell on the ground. What's this? The, uh, pianoism. Yeah, this piano fucking sucks because that's like three different notes in the same button. What the hell? Alright, well I got some stuff I want to do, but I need to put back in the, uh... I need to put back in the tape. Oh! A delicious apple. Chat, holy shit, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I'm already being bad. Mods! I literally haven't done anything yet. Shut up. Holy crap. I don't know what's a joke and what is backseating. Dude, the fact that some chat members that are literally subbed are already like posting fucking like actual input on like solutions to puzzles when I haven't even started trying is one of the most wild things. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually tilted. I'm actually tilted at you. Not the mods, at you, chat member. Stop. Hi friends, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? I wanna go in the bakery, shut up. Skip this. That I want to go to a bakery. <laughs> That's not the store, silly. Okay, I want to go to a car store. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? I don't know. I don't care. I just want to look at the cost of a blabbit. Uh, 150325. I can't leave in the middle of a... In the middle of the video. I'll write this down. Hang on. Also, mods, uh, go ahead and pin in the title that people that backseat will be uh, banned for, I don't know, a week. That'll get them. Thank you. Unless I ask, ban them for a week. I've had enough of it. I don't, I, I'm tired of trying to, like, be nice about it when they don't care. They just don't care. Even if they won't learn, at least I can get them out of the chat. Thank you. Alright, I've got the code. It's not their birthday! Like, I don't want to be mean, it's just like, come on. I hadn't even started yet. <laughs> like, I truly hadn't even gotten to, like, the puzzle before people were like, I go, yeah, sure. Do you think that's what they need? It's their fucking birthday, all right? What do you say when someone helps you? I say I didn't ask, all right, Amanda? I say I didn't fucking ask, and then I timed them out for a week. That's what I say. Great! I found the perfect card! <laughs> Time for the next errand! When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend- Skip, a Amanda. Skip. Skip, Amanda. Nerdy Skeleton, thanks for the five gifted subs. Good job. Let's go. Skip. Skip. Skip, get them the I cupcakes again. I don't think again. my friend get will the, like that. Get them the- get them the cake. I can't mail that to my friend. All right, fine. Give him the fucking Those cookies. Can we skip so this shit? 
No, that's not my friend's name. Uh. You have to know their name. Great work! Now we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes yeah, I, 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 I All right, Amanda. All right. I should have clocked the uh, letters on the signs, but I wanted to punch in this first and also... I just want to see if this works. I'm just going to punch in the... The fact this doesn't show anything on the screen makes you think that I have to do all these in like the order of what's on the table, but I'm curious. Okay, yeah, I have to do it in the right order. Dude, but yeah, no, we should sell this. <laughs> Not for real though, this thing retails for $1,500. We're gonna put this thing right on eBay. This thing's going right on eBay. We will be going right on eBay with this one. Yep. All right. Hang on. I, I did do it. Honestly, the one thing I wish for this game is that it had a option to pause in the middle. C, B, F. Okay. Give me <laughs> That's not this door. Good job. Skip. Let's. It's that. not their birthday. Shut the fuck up. Great! I found Skip this. Bakery. Good I'll just follow job. the instructions. Cookies. Those look so yep. Don't know. Don't care. No, that's not my friend's name. Alright, it's Kate. Great work! Now we can send this to Von my POV Omega Low. She likes the You guys skip around like this? Is how you people live? We got it. We got it. Amanda the Adventurer in Oh No Accidents. Oh. Amanda, what the hell? Accidents. Huh. Oh no. Uh -huh. Oh, it's you. Hey, Wooly. Whatever you do, don't. <laughs> Wooly, don't fucking oh, lunge no. at the camera. You're gonna Wooly hurt yourself. Had an accident. <laughs> an accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents. Yeah, I mean, I saw what happened. Well, he ran right at the tripod and fucking slammed his knee into it like a doofus. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't trip. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? Wooly, for your sake, you need to stay quiet or Amanda's gonna give you another accident. And this one's gonna be it, Wooly. You need to shut the hell up. Let me handle this. It's 3.45 right now. It's real life. And by real life, I mean the video game real life. Not the real life real life. But the clock in the back set the time. We need to be careful. Well, Wooly's hurting his, uh... Well, in his... In his knee, Amanda. In his knee. That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. Yeah. Who can help when you are hurting? I don't know, God, Jesus Christ. Start maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, doctor, uh, a lawyer. Honestly, for Wooly, probably a lawyer. He might, he might need, like, legal protection from you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say a lawyer, uh, for this one. I don't think they can help. She's above the law. <laughs> she's, she's above the law. Uh, they can help. Uh, um, uh, um, uh. I don't know. The police? Call the police? Don't you want to help, Willie? Well, no, not really. 
<laughs> well, honestly, I'm kind of over it now. Uh, no. No. Because they're not real. Uh, I guess I talked. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. To the hospital? It's a little extreme. Which room should we go in? I'm just going to like a probably put a bandage on it. To help Wooly. Well, uh, let's see, Wooly. You have a small. You have a scrape on your knee. You don't really need a like a tooth doctor, I guess, or a mouth doctor. And that's your bone broken, and that's something to do with your heart. Ah. Uh, just the, just the bone one, but in order to piss Amanda off, I'm gonna say that he probably needs to go. He should probably go to a cardiologist, honestly. I don't think that doctor can help Wooly. Well, I know Wooly doesn't have any teeth, so we should go to a dentist. Wooly's in a lot of pain. How about you let Wooly speak for himself? Please help me get to the right doctor. All right, Wooly. Okay, Wooly. Since you asked for once. Uh, it's the one that's not closed. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going to- The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Amanda? Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? Uh, the heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale? Amanda, are you sure you should be using the x-ray machine without doctor supervision? Pretty sure you could, like, accidentally blast Wooly with a lot of radiation. A lot of x-rays doing that without, a uh, some kind of, some kind of, like, uh, you know, supervisor or someone there to help. Uh, but I'm gonna say for this one, let's, I mean, first they wouldn't even, they would make him, I, I don't know, I feel like usually a scale's like the first thing you do when you go into the doctor, they check your weight. Before anything, they always do that, so, like, you should probably do that, too. No, silly. <laughs> Why the fuck did Wooly look like he was about to scream? Did you see Wooly? Well, um... Why is that thing beeping? I'm scared. What should we use? Whose heart is that? And what... The hell's that? So it's just a bunch of meat on the skin. All right, well, let's give him an x-ray. That's right. Now we can look at Wooly's bone. Did you stop the episode right there? Wooly? Wooly! Wooly! Cliffhanger, you gotta wait till the next episode to know what happens to Wooly's bones. Well, um, Wooly got, uh, holy shit, Wooly got injured at, well, three, I was 3.45 to start. I saw a clock for 22.50 or 22.30 at one point as well, but at 3.45, they got injured. What's up? Uh, what's going on? What the? Tick tock, tick tock. What did that say? Catching up with Sam by Lacey Mitchell. Sam Colton wasn't expecting to be a father to a town icon. But last summer it became clear that his public access series, Amanda the Adventurer, and its title character were something very special. For this self-professed struggling writer, it all started with his adopted daughter and a new outlook on life. Recently, I caught up with Sam over a stack of... Hang on, I want to see if I toss this on the ground if it respawns back on the wall, because it'd be easier to read if it was here. Because, like, I, when that fell on the ground, it got put over here. Because I don't think there's a way to, like... There's a way to zoom this in. Can I put it back on the wall? I'm gonna toss it on the desk and try to read it from here. I don't know why there's like not a zoom in button. Uh, okay. Uh, recently I caught up with Sam over a stack. 
of the Sunflower Diner's famous strawberry banana pancakes. We chatted about the value of imagination, everyday adventures, and what the future may have in store for Amanda. Lacey, Sam, not a day goes by when my kiddos aren't talking about Amanda and her adventures. Did you ever even dream that this little show would be a big hit? Little show is right, isn't it? But I think there's something elegant in the simplicity. We may not have the budget for a big production, but I truly believe there is a soul that transcends that. I'm humbled by the way the town has embraced my- And we'll never know what else they said. Because I can't read it. It's like two words. <laughs> but what's this? Some kind of... Key. Or some kind of... Now, what the hell does this even go to? It's gotta be something in the room. Ah, oh, yes. What was the other? It was like 2250. Oh, wait. I can just go like this. Might have been 30. Go on now. Get on down there. <sighs> I'm gonna have to watch Amanda again. Now I have to watch Amanda again. Now I have to watch Willie get maimed again. Oh. Skip. Me. That's right! Skip. Doctor. Let's hit- Skip. What time does that say? Fucking 620? 620. Punch it in. 620. And what does Come the one on. here say? Let's get 2250. I was correct on that. Uh, but I'm guessing I need to do 620 first. I've got like a fucking notepad open. That won't help, Willie. Shut up. That's fine. I'm so afraid for Willie. Willie's gonna be fine. You guys should be worried about me. Like, what if I get jumped by like an evil creature? You should all be worried about me right now. Hang on. Twenty-two. Can I wonder if I can go out of order. I feel like this is the last one. I'm gonna do this one last. But let's not fuck this up. Let's do it in the right order. So this means to go to 620. 6. 620. Oh, I'm dumb. I was using the fucking wrong hand. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up a second here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, which hand is which here? This is the... No, I'm right. Why isn't it going... Hang on. Hang on. It... Yeah, we're good. We're good. It just For some reason, when I was scrolling it down, they looked like the same height for a second, even though obviously they're not... Uh, 620 is not working. So, I guess I'll punch in 2250 again, just to be sure. Twenty two fifty. I might also have to just hang on, put it back. Put it here. Does it go through? No. I'm gonna put it over there and see if when I leave, if it works. I don't remember if the last time it kicked me out of it or not first. Six twenty. Huh? What the?
Can you shut the fuck up? Lose my mind. Hold on a second, let me take a look around. Dude, chat, friendly reminder that bafflingly, despite the fact that there's a pin up there, uh, just fr friendly reminder to observe the pin. Um, <laughs> just do it, do observe the pin, please. Uh, until I've asked, I don't want any. Any help? Don't remember this being in interactable until right now. But I'm going to assume that, yeah, the reason that side wasn't working is because I need to do this one first. Oh, nothing's updated. All right, well, uh, Function this one next, that or uh, this is the last one, and I should do the digital clock. Hang on, give me one. Just one little second. Let's see. No, okay, I'm gonna punch it on this one. All right. Ten, fifty. Huh? Oh, it's probably giving me the time. Five fifteen. All right. All the other ones stopped. Did it update the wall? No. Five fifteen. Okay. Well, uh, that's easy enough. I can do, I can do that. Five fifteen. All right, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Safe eight two six. Amanda the Adventurer in Everything Rots? Chat! That's huge! This is a super rare episode. Stop. And we have a safe code with it. We're gonna put the tape right here. Hold on to that. Eight two six. We got a real safe around here somewhere. Huh. Let me take a look around really quick, cause all I see here is a four combo thing right there. Uh we got a real safe sitting around. I have what looks to be the concept of a safe drawn onto a fucking box with a marker. But uh, I don't think that's gonna cut it. I've got... That's a weird thing over there. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I'm not seeing a safe, so I guess I'm gonna start watching the next episode of, um, Amanda the Adventurer. Everything rots! I'm Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And I'm Wooly. I see you got the fucking Such cupcakes nice after all, Amanda. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, I don't like that at all. You didn't even give me a chance oh. to answer. Amanda, what's that smell? I was going to say picnics are bullshit and bugs suck, like and why would I want to be out there with them? I the answer would be know, I wouldn't be Wooly. caught dead at a picnic. You're right. It's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? I don't know. You're gonna give me like the fucking line to answer? Oh, it's uh, probably woolly. I can't click it. I don't know. Uh, 
Those cupcakes? Uh, it depends. I mean, you bought them at a bakery, so that's definitely real, like, good old-fashioned homemade frosting. So it's probably gone bad, because you probably, like, you probably just got it and never refrigerated the thing. Uh, it's probably bad. Uh, the frosting's probably gone bad or some shit. Uh, it might be that. Amanda, since you don't know anything about cupcakes, uh, homemade from a bakery, you probably just fucking bought that shit and just put it in the goddamn picnic basket. Should have bought cookies, you idiot. Uh, but yeah, it's probably the fucking weird pile of green goo. You, you're right. That looks like a pile of magazines. This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. Mmm, yummy. This tree stump is looks like a pile too. of. Uh, Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? <sighs> um. Well, Amanda. Um. It's, uh, it's unalive, but, but I can't fit that one. Uh, it would be un, the correct term would be unalive, actually. Um, it would be unalive. Well, uh, I guess, I guess, um, I guess, I guess dead. That's right. Yeah. The tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! Men can die if they don't get enough light what the? or water. What the? Or if they get a disease. Amanda, what's Let's up with the acoustics? Nice Animals can die in different ways, too. Whoa! Hey, look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and body. Mr. Fox! And what do you think killed him? The gun? The knife? Or the poisonous berries on this bush. Mr. Fox was always a fucking idiot. He probably ate the poison berries. I can tell, obviously, from here that that gun is on safety. And that knife? Knife could have done it, but there's no blood on it. It would have been stupid if someone did do it to leave the murder weapon on the scene. So it has to be... It has to be... It has to be that... Uh, wait a minute. How big's that fucking gun? What is... No, that's the biggest gun I ever- that's the largest pistol I ever saw. Mr. Fox's head would be- like, if they got shot with that thing, they'd have a goddamn hole that you could see from here. And then again, that's also a sword. Like, that's a full-sized cleaver at this point. Uh, it's probably the poison berries. It's probably the poison berries, but then again, Wooly's giving me this look that may- and honestly, the look you're giving me makes me think you killed him. But I can't pick you. So I guess the, uh... I guess for shits and giggles, I'm gonna say the gun. I don't think that was it. And how should you know? What kind of training and, like, experience do you have to know what, like, what is or isn't anything? Have you, like, have you, how old are you anyways? Like, why the fuck do you even, how do you know that? Maybe it shoots really small bullets and it's a trick. No, it wasn't that. Oh, so you what know. Look his funny dog. He's silly. What killed him? Amanda, how about you have some goddamn respect for the dead? You do not call them silly. <laughs> Don't you call that poor fox silly? They're not silly. They're goofy. Alright. Also, did you say killed? Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Mr. Fox? What made you die? She's channeling dark spirits! Oh. It was the gun. It was the ugly old bear trap. What the fuck? Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until... Oh, it's a trick was question. Silly. That's some Amanda, bullshit. Amanda, you far. were trying to make me look like, like a fool. We a riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. I'm so tired of being owned. Sometimes I feel myself what? riding. Huh? But it feels Relatable. Far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Yeah, will you stay in your fucking lane for ten seconds? You don't all right? have to answer that. 
Why the hell did she even ask me? I couldn't hear it because Wooly wouldn't shut up. <laughs> and then I had to fucking talk about Wooly, and then I talked over her, therefore making me look like a jerk. Uh, five letters. Hang on, I'm just gonna... <laughs> five letters, yes or no answer, huh? Uh, you're both stupped. Why won't you answer oh. my question? Stupped. 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 You have to tell me. Uh. No. See? Everything is fine oh. here. Oh. It's all fine. Uh, um. Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, mom! Holy heck, what, what the, whoa, whoa, we, whoa, let's all calm down, Amanda. If that is, oh, I, I died. I died? I died. I answered wrong, I died. I answered wrong, I died? All right, let's continue. Uh... Well, this is safe here now, so I'm gonna not use the VHS again and kill myself. Uh, I'm just gonna use the safe. Cause I already... Wait. Huh? Well, it's gonna be hard to get my combo back with, um... Having not saved any of my stuff somehow. Or... How... Did I... But... But I... But there's a safe here. This has to be intentional. There's gotta be something wrong. Let's see if it lets me skip this. It's let me skip it. Ah! Mm, that sounds. Uh, we can't use that. Uh, we can't use that. Wait, there's a sticker. Oh. So I got, I got like a sticker. We can't use that. Wait, Amanda, are you not going to like get mad at me? For... Good job. Okay, cool. We I can just make the apple pie again. It's not a big deal. We can make the apple pie again. Wait, let's make a pie. Okay. Yeah, I'll make a pie. I already know how to make it. We just pop open the thing, set it to a cool, uh, you know, 425. Get that bad boy in the oven for 40 minutes. That's definitely not gonna ruin it. Uh, toss that bad boy in, get, get the party started. Gets me in your neighborhood again. Takes about 10 seconds to catch up. I ignore dead bodies, go to the corner store. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card! My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send Shut them? up! Great! I found- Shut up. CBF. Let's gotta remember the combo. What? Get cookies. Those look so tasty. Okay, it's Kate. You're sending it work. to Kate. I know. Now obviously. we can. I know because I, I know I know all the answers. C P F. Okay. Oh no, accident. We just gotta plug it in so it gets us every single option open. Knee. That's right, Willie. Skip it. Doctor, doctor. I don't think they can help. Doctor. Let's take Willie to the hospital to. Bone Come doctor. on, let's get Willie. X ray. That's right. Now we can look at. 
And we'll never know what will these bones look like. Oh, the safe's gone now. I see. So I had to memorize what this was and write it down beforehand because it's gone now. Okay, well, that all makes sense. This all adds up, you see. Uh, we can just get right back through it quick. Why you guys? Uh oh, it took me about 30 seconds to get back here. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It doesn't really set me back very far. Besides, there might be a better way to handle the uh, thing with the video. I killed him. Okay. Grab this. Plug it in here. Okay. Uh, this one becomes 620. Six twenty. I'm gonna write down the uh, combo for the last time for this as well now. All right, ten fifty. Got it. There we go. All caught up. And we could see, we could see if maybe we could have answered the right thing and not freaking get gotten killed. Piece of cake. Oh. Uh. Uh. 515. 826. Alright guys, let's go hang out with the fox again. Let's play along by Amanda's Amanda. rules. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? I like. Oh, oh I, I don't like They don't that give me time to answer! I'm uh, skipping. Amanda. It's a, it's that weird thing. You, you. Yeah. Uh Dead. That's right. Yup. Next. I don't think that was it. Oh, so it's a trick question. I can't even. It's the bear trap behind the fucking bush, Amanda. It's the bear trap. No, it wasn't that. Are you fucking Look sure? Look at his funny dog. He's silly. Yeah, he's silly. Skip it. Wouldn't it be nice if he. It's the bear trap. It was the ugly old bear trap. Yeah, I said it. Fuck! I, I skipped the question. Oh yeah. That's what I was afraid of. I said yes this time instead of no. They're not gonna kill me twice, guys. We're fine. They're not gonna kill me twice. That doesn't. Mean oh. Amanda, relax. Now that we have the combo, and I know to write things down. Eight, two, six. The combination to the safe. I didn't pull the. Yeah, you kind of have to turn this. Eight, two, six. I'm in. Oh my god. The pause slash eject button. That. Why that changes the entire game. Red, orange, blue, beige, potato. What the? <laughs> well, that's not. That's nothing to me. Red, orange, blue, beige, potato, lilac. That's what a potato looks like. Lilac, yellow, 
Purple, pale, pink. The fuck does all that go to? The hell does all that go to? Oh god, color coded shit. Oh, hang on a second. What the hell? There's a couple of these. Oh, that's fucked. There's a bunch of plants. Yes, but what does it all mean to me? What does it all mean? Hang on, with the pause thing, there's gotta be something new I can do with having, like, the pause thing. There's gotta be, like, new information I can punch in. So I've got in the kitchen now. And I can pause on the screen. Okay, that's big. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Okay. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. I'm in complete I control of the system now. Pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Let me think on that. Amanda, let me think on that. Let me take a look around and think on that for a second before I get back to you. I want to make sure I get my answer right. Uh, first of all, let me... Let's see here. What the fuck? So, we still have this to open. We have a five, We have a four combo padlock to open this. We have a locked chest here, which probably contains some kind of dark artifact. And that has a fucking... That's just a normal old key padlock. We've got a banana. I don't need that right now, but it's there if I do. Dear Miss Park, I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. I swear the library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'll always be grateful to you for that. For being someone I knew I could trust. I need that again, to trust. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just poof, gone. My parents were never the same, and now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts, and eventually it killed them. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street. That some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know. Crazy, a regular old suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it. I know you know it too. I thought I was alone. Nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up. But I heard about the kind of research you do. The kind that normal people don't do. I don't know, maybe there's- maybe it's just a rumor, but here I am. Yeah, but like... Yeah, but like, when do we get into what the- what- what potato means? I've not seen one of these symbols. There's something off about all this. Let me take a look around. There's a weird slime by this plug. I don't know what that's about either. And there's a leak. Right here. And these- and these weird mushrooms. Red, orange, blue, beige, potato, lilac, purple, pale, pink. Does this go in any of them? Damn. I don't know if this is gonna cut it. You can't just drop things. So there's gotta be like a place I put them. Yeah. Go on, plant. Weird, given his history, to see Tomato play a puzzle-focused horror game. I've literally played one in the last, like, two months. Chad, I pl I- <laughs> I play- Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna punch my way through some of the, uh, stuff and then get, uh, get all the tapes back and then go from there. What were they asking me? Skip this. Oh, I just skip answering. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Knife. Good job. What we the? can use this. What the? Huh? Sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to. I need. Do the, I need the oven to spawn. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look. Up. Shut up. Wait, let's make a pie. Hmm, can you smell the apple? 
I need the oven made. I need the oven on the board. <sighs> All right. I need... We're gonna crank it up. Hang on, I, I wanna go back to and pause it on the exact spot. Cause I'm not sure if it wants me to burn the whole place to the ground or simply set it to the right setting. Apple. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. We're about First, to cook. we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? It's gonna be a knife. Amanda. Good job! Stop the video! What the? <sighs> okay, that's gonna be set to maximum setting and that's gonna be a vertical line. Fine. We can use a sharp- That or I just burn it normal and there's no like Wait, real specific setting. All right. Well, that would just be, hang on, let me see if it loops. I think it just wants me to set it to maximum. All right. Amanda, are you sure about this one? This is gonna really, it's gonna really mess this thing up. I'm gonna set it to the max. I'm gonna make an apple at maximum power, here we go. Okay, what the fuck? I'm gonna make a pe I'm gonna put a peach in, if that's what a peach is. I'm sorry, what the hell? Get back in there. It still took it. Hang on, I'm gonna follow it again like this. It accepted the pot. Really? This man has never seen a peach. No, I know what a peach looks like. I just also know that it would make sense for there to be a peach here. And the fact that there is no peach here means it might have been that one. Maybe it's the, maybe it's still the 40 second. Maybe I just need to set up the temperature high. And it's still gonna be 40 minutes. What the hell? I really wish that it would let me pause and keep the oven there without having to have me re-punch it back in. It feels like I want to take screenshots of this fucking game because of the way it's formatted. Like, I have to actually, like, sit, like screenshot the picture. Hmm. Well, I could... Well, I could throw the whole fucking tape in it. <sighs> Hold up. If I could. Hmm. Dude, stop. Okay, I can't throw that in there. I'm gonna put everything in it. And then I'll reopen it. I guess I might just take a screenshot of the picture. Hold up. Let's see. Oh, I made a smile! I made a smile! Hang on. This is way more important than solving the mystery. Hell yeah. Yes! Punch it in. Oh. Ah, let me consult this once more. Let me consult the dark tomes yet one more time to confirm exactly what it wants for me. Let me ask Amanda. Let me channel my powers towards Amanda. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. There might be My other stuff in the background that I've been pie. missing. 
what's your favorite kind of pie? Well, you know what, Amanda? It's gonna be a banana pie. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Well, you know what, Amanda? That's gonna be a knife. Good job! It's just showing it like that. I really wish I could just have it over here. So I guess I'll put it down, like, to the dial that way instead of maximum, even though I assumed the arrow pointing at that would mean that it would be higher. Red, orange, blue, ba does it want that? Red, green, yellow. There's no green. Hmm. Wait, I'm fucking dumb. I can just fuck with it from here. Ah, <sighs> classic, classic. I'm sure chat's been trying to ruin that for me for a while, but I'm glad the mods are dealing with it, and I appreciate you mods. Thank you. And thank you to the chat members that are actually being patient and uh, letting me enjoy the game. I appreciate that, because um, some people are trying really hard to take it from me. Okay. I do think I might need something to throw in it, still. What the? Guys? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Guys? Holy shit! <laughs> oh! We're fine, everything's fine. As long as we keep it paused. Everything's cool. It's all gravy. It's all gravy. We're good. As long as we don't unpause, they'll never die. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, um, we should probably finish the episode, guys. Um, we should probably finish it. And that'll teach you to cook a pie without adult supervision, you fucking idiots. <laughs> and that's gonna teach you to pretend to be a pirate in the fucking kitchen. Meat pie. Potato, mushroom, meat. Preheat the oven to 525. In a pie tin, mix meat, potato, and mushroom. Bake for 50 minutes and enjoy. Oh, hell yeah. I could sleep. Slam. Some, some good old pie right about now. Wait, why? This is a trick question. Why the fuck is it cheese? Mmm, cheese. Can we get this out of the tin? Thank you. Okay, so, uh, mushroom. At one point we had some. It's over here, I think. Yeah, we're gonna be cooking up a good pie right now. Yes, siri. Yes, siri. That's gonna be a good pie. Mushroom. Uh, which one of these is potato? This is the only one that has a flower in it. Uh, but obviously, that's not what potato looks like. Potato is a root. I didn't even clock which icon was potato when I just looked at it. Oh yeah, the crescent. No, 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 yes. Yeah. And there it is. What? Get the fuck in there. All right, fine. I'm gonna have to get a potato out of this. Fine, fine. Grow. Now. Dude. So good at this. Holy shit. Mmm, yummy. Yummy, yummy. 
I mean... Okay, last thing we need is meat. That one's a little more complicated. Who put this apple over here? Well, uh, let's see. What are we... How are we going to get meat? Let me, uh... That's a peach. Chat, all of you can go to hell. <laughs> For real, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it fucking is. I bet. See, what we need is a nice red, crisp piece of meat. So I'm going to put red underneath the water. Wait a minute. Bro, just use the cheese, man. Dude, just use the cheese in the pie. That'll make a good pie. What does this make? What the hell is this nasty shit? Well, rat can. Looks like it's the end of the road, little guy. Oh, fuck. Damn, well, I mean, give the rats some credit. They ate their fill before they died. They they vacuumed that shit up like, like it was a cartoon. Sorry, idiot. You're being made into some nasty fucking pie now. Hell yeah. Get ready. Here we go. 425, bake for 50 minutes. Oh, yeah, this is gonna cook real nice. Get ready, you're gonna be made to a real nice pie. 525. <laughs> God damn it. Pat would have been ruined. Amanda the adventurer in in your neighborhood. But she's already been in my neighborhood. And like she she bought like cookies and crap and then mailed something. What do you mean? Is it a rerun? Hi there! I'm Amanda! And I'm Lily! Uh, Amanda, maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood? No, this place That's is a war zone. Great. I wouldn't suggest anyone I move like here. That there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, Name five. I want to send something you special can't, though, to my can friend. You? First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? Yes, since I've asked, we go to store since so we pick up some meat. I don't need to go there right now. I said, yeah, but it's not about what you want to do, all right? I want to pick up some meat. Do you think this is funny? Well, Amanda, um... <laughs> kinda, yeah. Uh, I, I do, that's kinda like... Why anyone playing this game, like, picks options that aren't the default intended path. is because I think it's funny to laugh at you. Um... So, yeah. Just take me to the store. How about you take yourself to the store, idiot? It's right across the street. You can see it. Now, can you tell me where I need to go? I, this town will never survive from the financial collapse it just experienced when Amanda snapped their fingers and destroyed the entire commercial sector. All right, we'll go Good to the 24/7 store. Let's Fucking hell! Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. My friend, something bad happened. Hang on, shut the fuck up. I don't care. Mm -mm, yep, we love punching in that. Okay, God, dude, I actually don't remember. I haven't played fucking... I haven't played... I haven't had to use, like, actual scale in forever. 
Galaxy. That's a C. C. So that's A. C. That's A. That's G. And that's F. Dude, I'm like, I actually, my brain's like f fake band nerd. It's been so long since I've had to play anything, dude. Uh, F, A, C, A. Uh, D. Yeah. Okay. You forgot how to read music? I have. I mean, you don't use it very, you don't use it for a long time. You don't remember, and then it just comes back to you. F, A, C, A, D. Uh, yeah. Well, that wasn't it. It sounded in tune for a second. I think I just fucked up one of them. Brain all goo. Was there any notation on it? What kind of card should I send them? Let's go back to this once I've actually done the fucking tape. <laughs> I think I'm skipping. I think I'm skipping things by just punching in the puzzle immediately. Anyways, so. Uh, what'd you ask me? Which one? Uh, send them the sad one. That's not the right card. I said, I, well, that's the one I think is, uh, that's the one I'd like you to send. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> yeah, well, how about you let Amanda speak for herself? How about that, buddy? Shh, here's a secret. It's my birthday. Didn't ask. Uh, all right. There's no, there's not enough octave. Like, if I want to do this in the right like notes, I need another. I need a larger piano, I believe. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So it's what the fuck is it again? That's an F. God, it's it's actually depressing that I forgot how to read fucking notes. That's so sad. Like that, I used to play so much fucking. I played so much in high school. I played so much, dude. Like decades of my life, void. <laughs> Void, man, not decades. Well, a decade and uh, and uh, quite a bit extra. Can't even piano. Yeah. Damn, man. C A E. Wait, no. It's G. So that's E. I know what the alphabet is. That's a fucking F. That's an A. That's a C, A. It goes in order. <laughs> I need to write it down or I'm gonna keep forgetting it over and over again every time I come back while I'm watching this. Hang on. A, G, F, F, A, C, A, C, D. Facade is what that spells. Okay, show off. How about you let me play that next time, jerk? I'm not punching that in yet, though. I want to finish the tape. I could have done it better. Maybe we can help her out. Go ahead and pick a card, friend. Uh... What is it, your fucking birthday? I, I guess they did tell me that, but I just didn't care. Are you sure that's right? I don't... That looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is... My friend... My friend is having a birthday! I want to get my friend a yeah, special yeah. treat! Where can I buy a treat yeah. for my friend? Yeah. Oh, I know! Let's get them some nice candy! Do you know where the candy store is? Listen here. If you wanna if you wanna get an actual good fucking gift 
for your friend, get him a nice slab of like premium. Like, if they like meat, get him a nice slab of premium butchered meat. You know, I mean, that's gonna go a lot longer. They're gonna appreciate that a lot more than like a little bit of candy. All right, you pull out a you pull out a nice steak. You pull out a nice, nice piece of meat for your friend, and you slap that shit on the fucking table and say, "I got you, I got you the good shit from the butchery." They're gonna appreciate that a lot more than you saying, "I got you a candy bar, dude." Got you some nice meat. Hell yeah. This, but unironically, I'm not being ironic, dude. I'm only like. Like, the amount of this as a joke is about 5%. The rest of like, dude, legit, if one of my friends got me, like, a fucking present, if they walked up to me and they're like, I got you a nice fucking piece of meat for your birthday, and they slap an actual piece of meat down on the table, I'd be like, I'm fucking cooking this shit. Let's get, let's, this is awesome. Let's go. We're going to the we meat store. We anything we need. Look at the stores. Which one sells candy? Well, technically also 24-7 store, you idiot. That was a stupid goddamn question. <sighs> Does this help? Don't you sigh at me. Whoa, what? Tomato, what do you want for your birthday? Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. Dude! Here's the thing. Yeah, I would... If I had to choose between someone getting me, like, sweets for my birthday, or, like, a fucking lovely meal, I would take the good fucking meal. Like, get me a nice piece of meat. Let's fucking cook, goddammit. Twitch is having problems. There's not much I can do, alas, but uh, we'll, hover, we'll hover here for a sec. Classic Twitch problems, but yeah, no, give me a nice crisp piece of meat. Come on. Come on. Great! Lush, why did you uh. do that? Now I can't find the candy store. I'm sorry oh, that the people who made the game, Amanda, <laughs> agree with me. I'm, I'm not sure that's my fault. But yeah, I'd like a nice crisp piece of meat. Don't do that! Fuck you! Stay mad. Stay losing. Take a look around. I was hoping if I said, like, if I... If I did that enough times, maybe, like, something would spawn in. Because I have to finish the tape. I mean, I have a spare tape here I need to do. I'm worried if I kill her, or if I, like, do anything else, it's gonna like get someone mad. She's gonna get like killed or something. Something horrible is gonna happen. Then she's gonna jump out of a fucking hatch and kill me. Like is what I'm worried about. I'm worried I'm like actually reaching the point where like she gets angry, something horrible happens, and then a ghost murders me, and then I'll lose the tape. I wrote down the. I wrote down the thing. We're good. I don't want to go there. Shut up. We're getting meat. We are getting a nice crisp piece of meat. Right now! You need to expand your palate. All right? Now everything needs to be candy and sweets. You'll realize that when you're older, idiot. I said I don't want to go in there! <laughs> All right, relax, but I mean, is it like a brand thing? Cause like we got a nice mom and pop home, you know, a nice mom and pop home, like, you know, like family owned, like, you know, nice, nice building, nice business, uh, directly next to this no! one. It's a mom and pop this business, happening! right here. This one's a nice one. Is it like the brand? Amanda, people love this one. She's really pissed. Yeah, but that's like, she's throwing a tantrum. I don't fucking care. Like this is like, this is, <laughs> Look, even Wooly's embarrassed this time. Like, relax. It's just meat. No! Amanda? Why can't I stop this? You don't have a pause button. It's actually funny. Um, 
That's why. Uh, you, don't, you don't have a pause button. I have the pause button. And I'm in control. And we're going to the fucking butchery. We're going to the butchery. This isn't the candy store. Yeah, There's no shit. There's nothing here that I want. I don't care. Maybe it's not about you. you. You know, that's an... You know, you know, Amanda, of all the lessons you fucking teach, I got a lesson you could learn, and it's that not everything is about you. Not everything is about you. Not everything revolves around you. Sometimes... You do stuff you don't want to do because someone else wants to do it. You know how many times I got dragged out to like go shopping with my family to go get some bullshit that I didn't care about? Too many times. Time for you to learn. All right? And we're getting me. Let me out of here. Oh, don't think that's going to... Holy that's, shit, she killed them all. That's a nice birthday card. Do you want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? Who the meat store, it No! What'd she fucking ask? I didn't listen because I was too upset. I don't know. Send it to your mom. I don't think it's there. But... <laughs> go to hell. All right. How about you go to hell? Okay. <laughs> send it to send it to Riley alright let's just send it to Riley the card is for someone really cute the fuck do you want from me Wooly oh yeah it's his birthday that's weird why the fuck would you say that about yourself that's so weird Wooly the hell that's weird man that's weird. Okay, oh, Wooly. Wooly. It's your birthday. Yeah, fucking happy birthday. This might be the saddest thing I've ever seen. Oh, I lost the piano. That's fine. Where we went. We tried to, you took me. The hell? Where? What the hell? Where? We want, we tried to. Where, 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 where? Where, where, where? Where, where, where? We wow, 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 wow. Where, we, where, where? I said that. Okay, at some point I managed to progress this book and then I fucked it up. Uh, where? We went. You, where we went into? I don't know how I got to the fucking crayon part. All right, I don't care. Uh, is the thing I want to do the piano thing next? Honestly, uh, I want to do the piano one. No, I probably shouldn't. I should probably make sure I do this right. Oh. Is this worse? Hi there! I'm Amanda! And I'm Wooly! Uh, Amanda, maybe some of our- Stop right there. Okay. 24-7, meat, candy. Let me see if I can like- Oh! Can I undo that? 24-7, meat, candy. I just wanna see if like it's like- Tomato can't solve elementary level puzzles. Dude, I just can't stop getting taunted by fucking chatlets, dude, every day. Our friends can come back to the neighborhood? That's great! I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Uh -huh. Today, 
I want to send some. 24 7. Good job. Let's. We go to the 24 7 store. That's not the right card. We get the discard. I don't think we want this. It's uh, Willie's birthday. Are you sure that? Yup. And then we go to candy store. Great! Look, why did you do that? I don't think I did that. Oh, I can't find the candy store. I don't know where to go. Can you help me? Yeah, we might as well just go to the meat store. Don't do that! You asked for my fucking help. I don't want to go there. I really don't know what to say. I don't think it's gonna get- I don't know how- I, Dude, see that's the thing though, is that I brute forced it by accident one time and managed to like stun lock myself because then I didn't know what the fuck I did. Where we went, we tried to, you took me. I don't really- there's no- I need to see like a change on these pages to recognize what I'm actually doing here. Okay, that takes me here. I didn't recognize which icons I actually clicked, but I did recognize the pattern I just did. Where, where, where? Oh, okay. I think, uh, well, we want your 24 seven can candy meat. I don't really know if this is any of my, uh, I don't really think I could do anything about this one, but it looks like I'm gonna have to, uh, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to, um, there, I see a lock with guts, and it looks like in order to get the key for the lock, I'm gonna have to, um, where the hell you go? What, did you see what was in that book? Show yourself. No point hiding. You know I'm gonna find you. And when I do, I'm gonna have to cut you up. We already know how this plays out. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, end of the line. End of the line, why don't you just... Why don't you just come on out now? Where the scissors at? Come on out. The hell are you? What the hell? All right, you're pretty good at evading. All right, you managed to disappear pretty good, but we'll see how long that lasts once I find the scissors and I figure out where those spawn in. Then you're dead. Thing. Maybe I need to interact with this again. No. I just need to find some scissors. The doll just fucked up. Well, without scissors, there's not much I could do anyways. But I do know the combination of this. And whether or not the doll's here, I can't do that. Maybe I should finish the uh, tape. Shut up. No. Skip. No! What? Skip. I want to get my friend a special treat. Like a nice crisp piece of meat. Let me out of here! Oh, Amanda. That's... Skip. And, uh, well, let's get that... I don't that. think it's their birthday. Let's get... No, I, I meant to type in Wooly, but I, for some reason I typed in Wolf. Wolf. Wooly. Oh, Wooly, it's your birthday. You know, I'm happy fucking birthday to Wooly. You know what I mean? Happy goddamn birthday to Wooly, man. I can't believe that doll fucked off. 
Well, I don't have the combination of this, but I bet if I punch in the, uh, piano VHS, I might get something. So we might need to switch up the order of this one, because I don't know where the doll is. And for all I know, they fucked off. And I also don't know where the scissors are, so there's not really much I can do about it anyways. So I'm guessing, uh, something's gotta, something in the order here has gotta change. I'll do one more pass to see if maybe I see them, like, lurking in a corner, but otherwise... Maybe move on. There's not like there's that much. Uh, what? The? Huh. Fine, you evaded me for now, but we'll see how far the how long that lasts. All right, we'll see how long that lasts. All right. Well, let's do this one. Where are you? Show yourself then! Guts. It's gotta be like... So, I need... I need guts? That means the doll has to... there has to be something in here. Dude, what if, like, what if it's inside the robot or something? What if there's, like, a fucking scissors inside the robot? But I already wrote that down. It was 50, it was, it was fifteen hundred and three dollars and twenty-five cents. This robot don't work. It needs batteries. Can I take the batteries out of this? Nothing. Where are you? That ain't no animal sound. That's weird. That's not what animal sounds like. I mean, I can reset. It resets if I put the uh, tape back in, so it's not like I can't just plug that in and do the piano thing and then switch back. Maybe that's what we do. Because I don't know where the doll is. And to be frank, I'm not very interested in spending the next 30 minutes looking around for something that might not be here. Seems like a... Seems like a foolish idea. Unless I had, like, you know, the combo. Nothing I can do with this. Guts. What if I picked the guts? But I did pick the guts. I picked the guts in the VHS. I thought I picked the guts. I guess it's worth checking. I thought I did. I don't need to go there right Yes, you do. Do you think this is fun? Yeah. Just take me to the... No. Now. God fucking damn it. That's not the right car. Amanda, all this serves I the purpose of is getting you sad. You're just gonna start Are fucking sure crying that... again. They don't have any... Look at the stores. <sighs> Does this... Great! What? Why did you do? Shut up! Take don't us to the guts that. store. I don't want oh my God, Amanda just never stops. No! Stop! No. Just, just, just relax. No. Just relax. So I guess this is guts, because that's just me. I want to get my friend a special treat. Let me out of here! Oh, Amanda. I feel like that time I picked it. You give it I don't think it's their birthday. You just give it to Wooly. Oh, Wooly. Here you go.
I picked guts and nothing happened, dude. I picked it, nothing happened. That's it, man. I'm doing the piano next. I'm doing piano next. I punch in the piano. Paused. Wait, but then the the VHS will be. I think I have to like reset. Huh? Yeah, because there's a VHS in it now. I have to. Maybe I have to pause it there. Maybe I pause it when I'm at that and we go from there. Yeah, chat, if I, I want help, I will ask. But you don't need to be like, do you want help now? Do you want help now? Do you That's... think this is funny? That's equally annoying. Just take me to the store. Good job. Dude, Amanda, come on. That's not the right card. But it shows me this here. So maybe this is when I'm supposed to punch this in, and then it'll just somehow work. Okay, let's just plug it in while that one's in there. Wait. Huh? Well, what am I... How am I supposed to... But I... Where the... But if I'm... Let's just keep moving forward. I don't think we For now. want this. Are you sure that... We'll keep moving forward. For now. They don't have any... Great! Okay, we go to meat store. Don't do that! Quiet, Amanda. We're trying to solve the mystery of the guts. Go no! No! Okay. Okay, okay. So I'm here at the meat store. I see the meat. I see the meat man. I don't see any visual change. I see... There's only one or two spots with like an actual... Like padlock. Is this one. Oh, okay. Probably... Probably should've just gone in this at least once, but... I'm not sure why I would have, like, there's not enough detail on the thing to fucking be able to tell it was a letter lock. Okay. We got there. We got there, now where's the doll? We got there. And what is, what's that on the day? Amanda the Adventurer, what's a family? All right. Can I just eject this early? All right, well, Amanda's gonna get I all want pissed to get again. My friend up. Let me out of here! Shut up! Oh, Willie. Skip. This tape is bad and we hate it and we're throwing it out once and for all. Matter of fact, the next tape I'm punching in is this one. Where's the birthday girl? Usually my mom holds my treat money. Well, I Come on, Lauren, we have a special surprise for you. Okay. Here's what I have. <sighs> Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. Maybe we need to talk about some new TV rules. <sighs> you know what, hold on. Let me try. I, I want to I wanna capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, 
We got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby. We can watch Amanda another Lame time. Lame favorite. It's so uh, much what the? Fun Lauren? Your own Everything okay? Lauren? Mm, Lauren? I love, love mint chocolate chip. Why did they say mint chocolate chip? What are the odds that they're... Oh my god. What are the odds? The TV show... It took their soul. Oh my god. Anyways... Huh? Hold on. Huh? What's that? Huh? What's a what's a family? Amanda, explain to me what a family is, Amanda. Wooly got like actually sad and like uh, looks to be insulted when she said that. Damn, the hell? What the fuck, Amanda? Wooly's not just a sheep. Okay. Is she wrong? You guys, come on, let's give a little more respect to Wooly. Sound like a sheep? That's great! You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> I didn't say wow, anything. Wow, yeah. You sound just like me. I didn't say anything, Well. At a petting zoo. There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different, and they don't talk like people. Yeah, Amanda, yeah. I'm an animal, and I... Animals don't Whoa! talk to... Whoa! Whoa, dude! Wooly, shut the fuck up! Get lost! Holy crap! Gave him the hand, dude! Gave him the fucking hand! Dude! <laughs> Wooly is getting absolutely thrashed out here every second of every fucking day. What the fuck, dude? What the? I'm gonna finish the tape. Lee, look at these signs. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. All right. Are you ready? Yup. A goat says, meh. Meh. A me, chicken me. says. <laughs> a pig says. Squee. <laughs> See, I was way closer than whatever the fuck Amanda was doing. What was she going like? Oink? No, it's squee. Squee. It's kind of like that. It's more like a squee. Squee. And then you like kind of like bring it up. Squee. And then you like kind of make it a little bit higher sometimes. If you're trying to get like the pig to seem aggressive. Amanda doesn't know what she's doing, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> ah, that was a fun looking pig. <laughs> fun! Animals make funny sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a family? That's a weird Animal. follow up question after. Oh, uh, hang on. She's she's looping back around. She's bringing it back. We'll have families too. Let's go see one of the animal family. Okay. I want to see the chicken. Can you show me where the chickens are? Uh, all right, well, um, I'm stuck directly at the angle that I, I have here, but it looks like they're to the right of me, so they're on your left. Great! Let's go see the silly chicken! Not sure what about it, it makes him silly. Whoa! Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens, and I see... I see a daddy chicken. 
Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? I don't know, like a rooster? I mean, it might have a name. It might be like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's like Gerald? No, that's that not their name. what they're called. Try Oh. Emergency alert system for Kensdale, Ohio, uh, tornado warning. The hell does it even mean? Huh. Hello. Watch out, Ohio. There's a tornado tearing through your area. Again? Ah, uh, it's a rooster, Amanda. It's a goddamn rooster. You're right. The daddy is called a rooster. Yeah. The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Look at those the little idiots. Eat their babies. Look at those little idiots. Oh! Yum, yum. Spit that the fuck! Spit that out! Spit that out! <laughs> what the hell? Dude, that was metal as hell. Nature's crazy! Okay, let's go see yum, some yum. more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? I don't think Wooly wants to go to the go to the sheep. And I mean, honestly, I get it, dude. That's honestly. I'm not sure we should go there. How about we go hang out with the snakes? Ew! I don't want to see those. I'm getting really pissed off at Amanda lately because, like, there's nothing wrong with a little, a little reptile, little wiggly guy hanging out. Fun snake. Snakes are cool. Reptiles are some of the best creatures. Like, They're what the fuck? Scary. They're scary. Snakes are scary. I've never seen a snake in my whole life. That I've been like, that's scary. Like, yeah, there's venomous ones, but you be careful around those, just like you be careful around any animal. They're not scary. That's not scary. The, that barn has seen some shit. Yeah, their eyes are bloodshot. They look to be heaving. I'm not sure they're good. But maybe we'll go to spiders. I don't want to go near. Okay, Amanda. Uh, the spiders are friends. That. Spiders are friends. The sheep are waiting for us. Where are they? You really need my help? You know, it should be. This should be demeaning to you. Like, this should be embarrassing to ask me like this. Okay, let's go. Look at the nice sheep family. All the sheep are right where no. they belong. Uh, Willie. <laughs> Wooly? Oh, it's a kitten. kitty. Where is your family? It looks like this kitten is all by herself. Little, little kitty. How do you think she feels? I don't know. Can't fit sad. Uh. I don't know. Their eyes look kind of confused. Uh, they might be. Happy chat, that's fucked up. Chat, that's fucked up. <laughs> I'd be angry. I'd be I'm pissed about so it. So scared. I'd be mad. I'd be getting angry. There's nobody to love her. Nah, I'd be angry. Oh, hang on. I didn't type that. The first letter was right, but the next one was uh. Alone. Kitten is alone. There is no one to help her. Will you help the lonely kitten? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess I I would. Yeah, I would. I'd help them. Yeah. 
Yeah. Amanda? Amanda? I'm gonna pause right there. I'm gonna pause right there. Uh, I think if I finish this tape, I'm gonna die. <laughs> God, all right. All right, everyone. I think if that tape finishes, I'm gonna die. So uh, maybe we don't finish this one. Maybe we uh, take it easy. Uh, hold that thought forever. Uh, what do we do? I think we're gonna die if that tape finishes. Okay, I think I have to finish it. Okay, we're good. All right, I'll plug it back in. Do I have to, I don't know if I can skip this one because I need to make sure I catch the Hi fucking friends. things. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. I need to catch bah. all the alarms. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? Yeah, ba uh, ba. That's great. Bah. You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> See, I'm playing along because I don't want wow, Amanda to fucking yeah. kill me. You sound just like me. Thanks, shit. Stop right there! Thunderstorm, severe warning. I'm not surprised. But she did. The thunderstorm goes. Wait. So that stopped. Well, how do I? It looked like it. I'm worried that that like overrode it or something. No. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we go to the next one now. So I want to make sure I didn't like fuck it up or something. What do you want from me? Oh, you want to see the chicken? Great! Let's go see the silly chicken. What a cute fib. Having a family. Damn, Wooly nice. needs help, man. I see a mommy chicken. Yo, I want to see that mommy chicken, chicken just fucking absolutely just just destroy that little idiot again. Look Watch this chickens. shit. Do you know what the daddy is <laughs> They don't even know they're alive. They literally don't know they're alive. The daddy is called a rooster. They don't know. The mommy is a hen and they the don't know. Babies Look at this guy. Some mommies eat their babies. Dude, that's metal as hell. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn! Fucking hell! Yum, yum. Okay, yum. let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? No, it's gonna be going Ew, to the snake section. I don't want to see those. They're scary. Spider. I don't want to go near Flooding warning. Wait, the, what the? I think I need a, I see the flood warning. I think I need a spider to eat the webs from me. Why the fuck would a spider eat the webs? Wait, what am I, stupid? What am I, dumb? Why the fuck? Spiders don't eat. Oh boy. But those are definitely webs. I need the spider to unweb those webs now. I need, I'm gonna need a spider to unweb those webs. Or I could just use these scissors. Although I don't think that's the right application of them, evidently. I see the pause thing there. See, I'm wondering if I need to, uh, do something with the decisions I make that gives me tornado before flood. I think I missed it. I think I missed something. What if now? No. 
waiting for us. Where are they? At the sheep okay, section. Let's go. Uh, none of this matters. She must be so scared. Yeah, well, none of this matters, Amanda. There's nobody to love her. Yeah, and that's a bummer for them. None of this matters. Kitten is alone. There is no one to help her. Yeah, whatever. Will you help the lonely kitten? Uh, nah. Will you please help the lonely kitten? Nah, I'm, I'm busy today. Won't you help the lonely kitten? Nah, no. Won't you help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? Guys, I think I'm in big trouble. Guys, I think I'm in big trouble, but I think I might have summoned a spider creature to to clear up that dial. Oh my god! Wouldn't you know it, Amanda? My schedule, it well, it just cleared up. I actually, I have some. Kind of oh! Well, that, uh, that really set me back. God, the, the game really needs to work on how it handles its auto saves. Uh, let's see here. How do I get the tape that I was using? It's not the safe. I wrote down all of it. I wrote down all the solutions for things I've been doing. For this, I gotta do guts on the thing over there. I do want to open this first. Oh, there's nothing even in it. Yep. Guts. Guts. Okay. It's getting a little strong now. Gotta be careful, no idea how dangerous this place could be. So... That's not where they are! Yeah, well, it's where don't I wanna go. Don't you know what a chicken looks like? Holy shit, Amanda. Maybe I just don't wanna go see the chickens right now. I want to go look at the chickens. Yeah, well, I don't. So how about we just both, like, go our separate ways? And then we could both be happy. You know, because that's what, like, you know, normal people do. What am I going to do about this? Oh, wait. That's not there. Maybe there's something in here? No. I think I need a spider. I think I need a spider to eat the webs, Chad. I think that, that's gotta be the answer, Chad. I mean, I need a spider to eat the webs, Chad. It makes sense. Yeah. I'm gonna need to get a spider to eat those webs. Great! Let's go see the silly chickens. What a cute fib. Okay, so you, we can straight up skip the warnings, which I'm not a fan of uh, at all. Um, so I have to actually watch the whole fucking thing in order to get these to pop up. Like the right things for the spin. Uh, all right. That's annoying. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, the fast forward skips the parts that I need active and paused in order to finish this thing. So I have to actually uh, check with it. All right. Oh boy, I have to cough really bad. I'm just gonna get everything wrong. Wait, no, if I do no, that, they'll kill that's me. that's not what they're called. Try. 
There's a tornado warning. So... Yeah, we have to do storm, then tornado, then flood. Maybe the flood thing works even if it's all, like, webbed up. Problem is, I have to reset it in order to get the tornado one again, or the storm one. So if I get rooster wrong one time, I get the, the storm one. Called a rooster. If I choose Ew, to not go to the I right place... To see those. They're scary. I don't want to go near... That gets me flood. So what... Okay, so now let's follow okay, the instructions and do this right so she doesn't kill me. This kitten is alone. Yes. Okay. I don't remember which one gives me the storm option, but I think it was me doing things right. Or it might have just been a natural thing and I skipped it. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. Hi, Amanda. I'm Bye. Hi, Amanda. Made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Everyone say hi and to you Amanda. Make a sound like a sheep. That's great. You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. Fuck's sake! Oh, oh. All right, focus up. We gotta do this right. The storm goes. Okay, guys, next one. Great. What? No, that's not what they're called. Here we Try go. The tornado goes. The tornado goes. She was red. So can I do anything about this, or I just do I just leave this as is? I. All right, focus up. Again. The daddy is called a rooster. Guys, hey, check this out. The mommy is a check this out. Watch and this little guy. Babies are chicks. Watch this little idiot. Some mommies eat their babies. Oh my god, they don't know what's about to happen, bro. That guy's looking up to God right now. Oh! Yum, yum. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? Snake. I think it's time to visit. Snake. Ew, I don't want to see those. They're scary. Spider. I don't want to go near... Stop! Flooding warning has initiated. The flood goes. Oh, Jesus! What the hell? Did a spider just fucking hook that at me? What is this? A man of the adventurer and everything rots. I uh, I didn't like this one the first lap. Actually, was the thing. I actually hated this one. This was my least favorite of the Amanda franchise. Okay, let's try not to get killed right now, because this is a long setback if we get killed. She okay. Alone. Yes. Spit that out. All right, guys. I know a lot of people didn't like this part. They thought that really the writers started to get a little, uh, a little crazy with it by everything rots. But honestly, I think there's an important message this episode sends. Let's give it a watch. And I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. <laughs> What's that smell? What do you think is making that bad smell? It's the pile of magazines. Yee, you! You're right! Do you know what the opposite of alive is? 
I don't know, uh, fucking dead, Amanda. How many times do I have to be taught this lesson? To dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! When an animal dies, it rots too. It looks like this kitten is in big trouble. No! It no! It died before anyone no! can help it. No! Should we help the kitten? Yes! Yeah. We really don't have much time. Yeah. No! God, no! De do something! Oh, I have to do it. Dude, Twitch is absolutely beefing it so hard right now. I'm gonna wait here a second. I think it's I think it's whatever servers I'm on cuz it's like my my internet's fine cuz I'm watching the chat scroll by like I'm not like dropping I've got it's just like there's some weird server stuff happening. I'll give it a sec. I don't care about the delay. The VOD viewers they can live. They can do whatever they must. What's happening? They'll they'll be okay. The VOD viewers will live. I mean the current live delay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Butcher. I. What happened? What happened? Wait, what just happened? Dude, put the fucking tape. Put the goddamn tape from the goddamn disc thing over here, man. What are you doing, game? I have to do the whole guts part again? That's a meat ending. I don't even know how. Got a sticker for it, and now I have to do the whole last part with the fucking dial again. Well, at least I got it in the show. That's pretty cool. But the game needs better checkpoints. Fundamentally needs better checkpoints. Like it's trying, but uh, it needs it needs a, it needs to let me skip this part. All right, well, I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, uh, did I accidentally skip the fucking thing I needed to do? Go see the silly chicken. What a cute God damn it, I actually fucking skipped it. Dude, it's so frustrating! It's literally faster to just quit the title and restart. Hang on, I got a better idea. What the fuck? Now it's now it's saving. <laughs> now it's working. But not by much. Hi friends. I'm Amanda. And I I'm am Wooly. Amanda. Bye. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? Yeah, Amanda, here I go. That's great! You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. Yeah, wow. You sound just like me. Okay. I guess when you get an ending, it, it resets most of it. Just don't think it's very good design that it does that is all. Look, I just don't lie. I, the game's very interesting. I'd rather be doing the interesting parts, not having to reset in very, like, like this. It would be fine if it wasn't actively, like, this, like, I didn't have to have this on screen to do it. it like, I, there was some control I had over this part. But I do have to, like, physically get to all of the points on screen to do this. So I have to, like, actually get something wrong here. No, that's not what they're called. Try. So I can get the tornado warning and then etc. etc. 
All right, let's roll. It did go in, right? Hang on. Yeah, we're good. It just, like, if there was a skip that stopped on these symbols, I wouldn't be complaining. Hey, Barkas, think about this. Daddy, now we get to watch this little there. idiot get, like, fucking snacked on once again. Some mommies eat their babies. Oh! Always funny. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Ew. I, I don't want to go near... All right, we got it. I still don't know what I did wrong to, um, have this happen. Like, have the hatch open and me die. Because I really don't want that to happen again. That's all. But let's get through this tape first. Okay. Okay. Alone. Skip. Yes. Okay. Let's be extra careful and think. Or are we doing Again, anything stupid? I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What's that smell? What do you think is making that bad smell? Uh, apple. No, that looks fine. Uh. I already fucked up. I'm already dead. I don't even know it. I'm already dead. I, I already died, man. That, that, picking that apple just killed me. That just killed me. You, you're right. True. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Um. No. Look at the tree stump. If it's not alive, what is it? What? I don't think we should be talking about this. Yeah. Are you afraid to think about it? Yeah. Oh. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! When an animal dies, it rots too. It looks like this kitten is in big trouble. It might die before anyone. Not if I pause. Not if I pause. Stop right there. You're in big trouble now. I'm in the middle of a tape. You can't go anywhere if I fucking open this. I'm in the middle of another sequence, motherfucker. You're dead. You're as good as dead. I'm already in a tape. Yeah, yeah, you did, motherfucker. You thought you could fucking sneak up on me? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Oh. Yeah, right. All right. We got there. I already scrawled down these battery codes, the codes that go to this thing. Hello, I am Blackboard. Hello. I think it's gonna be fun too. Did you know that you're worth fifteen hundred dollars? I bet I could get like at least half of that off of you on eBay. One, five, zero. One, five, zero, three, two, five. Hang on. That's gonna be funny if he says the funny numbers. Nah, no, 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 no. I'm not fucking twelve. Not 12, I'm not gonna say the funny numbers. But it would be funny. Yes, but where did you find that? What? 
None of your business. None of your business, Blabbit. What the fuck? This game has anti-cheat. It's got sequence breaking. All right. <laughs> All right, let's fucking die, I guess, to the butcher. I can help it. Should we help the kitten? Yes. <coughs> Escape. I'm out of here. I saw it. Escape. But it says it says the last tape will be lost if I do that. It said escape. Hey, Blabbit, I see you're still awake. Really? I did all of that for you to just fucking say that to me? I did all of that just for him to say life is not just a sequence of zeros and ones? Did I punch it? Maybe I put it in wrong. Put it in wrong. Okay, now we just cycle back around and get to the last one of those again. That's all. Now I just go back around until it's on screen and then blab it will work. So we'll just go, we'll just go ahead and wait, that's everything rots. Blah, blab it. I don't feel so good now. Blabbit, I don't feel so good, man. Blabbit, I, I need to reset, man. Blabbit. Grabs Blabbit by the collar of his shirt. Pulls him in the air. Blabbit, I need you to get me out of here. I, I tried to escape and it won't let me out, Blabbit. You're supposed to help me get out of here, Blabbit. I, I don't feel so good. Blabbit. Okay, so, um, I guess I have to, I guess I have to die, but then Blabbit won't be, won't have batteries anymore. So escaping was actually not the answer. Escaping did nothing. Hi, Ken. I'm a man. That's an nasty part. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Yes. I'm afraid I won't be helping. Oh. D so is that the problem is that I waited too long last time? Because I get the weird feeling that this is going to now open the hatch again. Fuck. I waited too long. Blab it. That, was that the actual problem? Is that- I'm gonna quit and reload. I don't want meat ending. Get me out of here! No. Okay. I'm gonna try to help that cat really fast this time. Cause I hesitated the first time and that might have been the problem. Dead is the- 
We don't want the meat ending. Help him! Got it. What the fuck? There's gotta be something else I do then. But maybe if I re- Maybe if I reset, Blab it'll still have his batteries? Cause that's the- that is the- God fuck, I actually got too close. Alt F4. You think I'm just gonna go down like that? Do you think I'm just gonna go down like that? What do you think I'm stupid? I choose the ultimate escape. Hey, he's a lot more than that. To take me down. Okay, I'm gonna have to operate on the assumption that, uh... Either I fuck with another one of the things in the room. To get a replacement tape again. Well, what was the thing? Is that, um, the... The shopping one that had the blabbit thing was the answer after the oven. So I can't get that one again. It's not reset. I still have to- I'm still on everything. Do I- Dude, if I reset, Blabbit's not gonna have his batteries and it's gonna fucking make me do all that shit again. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really think I have a choice, though. I guess I could just not save the cat like a fucking monster. I guess I'll just really fumble the ball this time. And I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What's that smell? What do you think is making that bad smell? Wooly. Cupcake. No, that looks fine. Cupcake. Are you doing this on purpose? Cupcake. What is making that bad smell? That. You, you're right. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Ah, uh, dead, dead. Don't know. Look at the tree. I'm gonna stuff. fumble the ball. If it's not alive, what is it? I'm gonna keep question mark. I don't think we should be talking about this. Wooly's right. We shouldn't. Are you afraid to think about it? Okay, it doesn't automatically. Anyways, the opposite but... of alive. Good job. Here I go. I'm activating beef when it mode. When an animal dies, it rots too. It looks like this kitten is in big trouble. No! It might die no! before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? No! We really don't have much time. No! It automatically goes to yes, but I'm just not gonna click anything. I'm gonna go bathroom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just go to the bathroom. So we have to just listen to Sad Cat? I don't know what else to fucking do. Can't help the cat. I refuse. Z impossible. Can't stop. No use. I refuse. I think we do have to reset the full game. Yeah, because we're just stuck here. Fucking hell. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna have us just sitting here for five minutes. I don't think that's how it's gonna play out, chat. We're getting railroaded! No use. Time's up. I mean, if I press zero, nothing happens. And I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna press quit the title. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, there's nothing I could do here right now. Is that new audio? I don't remember that music happening last time. I don't remember it working like that. Maybe. Zero, zero, zero. Do you really know how to push my buttons? Blab it. Stop. We're gonna die. You have to blab it. You gotta get me the fuck out of here, man. They're gonna fucking kill me. I'm gonna try this one more time, and I'm gonna let it fully reset me. Zero, three, two, yes. but where did you find All right, Blabbit, I'm just gonna go over there and fucking kill myself. Here I go. Hey, man. What's going on? That blab it better at batteries. All right, that's all I'm. Yes, all right. Good shit. Okay. Oh, five. So I know I, I I feel like this is still gonna be the same thing. Hang on. Uh, but I'm gonna do it right now just to be, just to be sure before I punch it in at the right spot. Okay. But where did you find that? All right. Hi, I'm Amanda. Skip. Apple. Mm, that sounds Skip. Knife. Good job. We can use a sharp I knife. I don't have to do that one. I just have to make the pie normal. I don't think I have to hey. light it on fire. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. So yeah, we're just gonna grab everything. Wait, let's make a pie. All right. Mm. Amanda, remind me the instructions yeah, to make a delicious apple pie. Okay, it's time to bake a pie. Remind me the instructions. First, preheat the oven to 425. 425. We should be using the oven. Willie, shut the hell up. We should always ask shut up. to help. I'm not sure where they are. Willie, I need the instructions. We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Okay. Then put the apples into the pie. Apple in the pie. Now, 40 minutes. 425, 40 minutes. Let's roll. Or 25. 40 minutes in the oven. Let's get this bad boy cooked. I'm starving. We got it. Okay, Blabbit. Good job! Shut what? up. This was never about you. One, five, three. God damn it, I fucked it up. That's it? That's all you got for me? What? No, that was always like that, right? Blabbit, what the hell's going on? How do you know about... How do you know they did? What's happening? I don't want to play anymore right now. What? Blab it. Blab it, I ask you for nothing in this world. I've never asked you for but I think. But you have to protect me. I think there's something inside of that cake. I think there's a small creature that's going to jump out of that cake and try to kill me. And I swear to God, if this is a reference, like, 
some fucking meme from 2006. I will alt F4 this game and I'll never come back, Blabbit, and you'll die here. You will die here. So surely that's not it. Congratulations, you're one year older. Wishing you the best. 0882. Yeah, who cares though? I'm writing this down. Hang on, I have to actually like scroll this. 0882. Before I forget it. That was supposed to open when I did that. Okay. Hang on, let's do it with Blabbit. Piece of shit. I see Blabbit. 081821. What the fuck did you just tell me? Can you repeat that, Blabbit? Blabbit? Blabbit, say again? Hey, I'm gonna make sure I have the actual number for this down so I have to do this whole part again. Adding the ones. Okay. Zero. Oh. Eight, one. Eight, two, one. Three twenty five at thirty minutes. Okay, three twenty five at thirty minutes. Twenty five, thirty, min. Well, I don't know what I'm putting in at that at three twenty five for thirty minutes because I can't pick up the cake, but uh. I, I really can't pick up the cake. I can't do it. Oh, I'll just close it up. Oh. Okay. What the hell? Blabbit, what the fuck do you want from me, you freak? One times four equals four. What do you mean? He wants me to put them all in order. Okay, fine. It's four, four, two, one, three, zero. What's in the card is on the cake. What's in the card is on the cake. What the f fuck is he talking about? So does he mean all these are actually the candle actually represents two? Okay, man. Okay, Blabbit. Piece of shit. Changing the rules. Let's try that. It's actually going to be eight. Four. Two times two. Okay, it's five. Two divided by two is still... Be one then. Six. One. What are you trying to tell I don't know math, Blabbit! I'm doing this on hand using fucking candles as symbols! I'm taking a piss!
Dude, I don't think anything stresses me out more in my life than having to do the most basic first grade math, either on stream or in D&D, in any setting where you are expected to do it quickly. Immediately, dude, I swear to God, you put me in front of a fucking mad minute when I was 12 and you could watch me fucking actually age. You could see gray hairs growing out of my fucking head. Eight. Eight. Four. Four. Five. 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 Okay. Whoa, 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 what? Okay, you don't turn on emo and only mode. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I got it. It's okay. Thank you, though. That just that just makes you feel of ashamed. Oh, <laughs> uh, six. Six. What? Okay, well that time I did everything correctly, which means it's just not... Wait a minute. Five minus two is three. Buh. Dude, I hate fucking shit like this, dude. Holy crap. Three, three five, five, one, one six, six, and one. C, C, D, C, F, E. This part I know. I think that anyone uh, that's ever had to do math in real time understands the fucking immediate, like, stress debuff you receive from having to do anything when people are all going, Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> Look at him! Instantly fumble the ball. A candle. It's my birthday. That's good. Oh, we got the accidents tape again. We don't have much time. Hey, Wooly. Trust me? No. Fuck no. No. I don't trust either of you. Matter of fact, Wooly, I think you've been obnoxious. Uh, a little rude as well, as far as I'm concerned. But I don't want to see- I feel like you're about to get killed to this tape, so... Uh, now. Nah. Oh, shit. Ready for an adventure? Amanda, you know you can't- Wooly had an accident. When a friend has an accident, sometimes nobody can help them. But we can try. No, Amanda. I I'm fine. Yeah, Wooly looks fine. I, I, I just, uh... Poor Wooly is so confused. We really have to help him. Amanda, Wooly's but fine. We have to know what is wrong. What part of Wooly is broken? Uh. Uh. Wooly, I see you've T-posed, and as a result, I'm worried that if I click anywhere on your character's body, you are going to receive an injury on the place I clicked, and therefore the safest thing I can do is try to do it clean and aim for the center of your head. Wooly's head is broken, but Oh no. Oh, Wooly. Oh god, what are that Bleba Blabbit, are you fucking seeing this shit, dude? Like, what are we I think Wooly's about to fucking die, dude. We're in we're in trouble, man. This is I think I fucked up. I fucked Dr. up. Dr. Amanda's here to help. Let's prepare the patient. Here, Wooly, drink that. Don't fucking drink that, Wooly! I don't know, Amanda. It's don't drink that, Wooly! End, isn't it, Wooly? Amanda, I feel, uh... We need to operate immediately on the patient's brain. What tool should we use to fix Wooly's head? The saw, the hammer, or the forceps? 
Amanda, you need to relax. Okay, you need to... You need to... You need to calm down for a second, because I think we should really get a doctor. I think we should really get a doctor, but it, honestly, if I had to choose, I'd say probably the hammer. That might be helpful, but what else could we use? Okay, what the fuck? I mean, it's not like you have a fucking, like, degree in medicine, so it's not like you really know, do you? So why is your fucking weird, stupid, idiot kid option better than my stupid, idiot adult streamer option? I choose the fucking... Things could get really messy if we use that. What do you mean? That'd be so clean because you'd never get you'd never get there. You'd just be stuck outside the skull the whole time. But fine, we'll use the nasty saw. That looks hard to use, but I could try. Nah, I changed my mind. Use the hammer. <laughs> I tricked you. We're going to use all three. Oh, fuck off. What are you... <laughs> Wooly! <laughs> Wooly! The patient is getting rowdy. I'll need a little help here. Help me! Please! Stop! Uh, are you going to help? Ah, uh, well, Wooly, um, the thing is, um, uh, who am I gonna- Well, well, what? Which one of these two do I want to make sure I don't get on the bad side of, is the thing. Which one do I- Um... Well, I mean... I mean, what if Wooly really does have a problem in his brain and we just don't- What if he deeply, deeply does need help and I'm misreading the situation? What if Amanda's really got the best intentions and Wooly is like a psycho? You know, like, how do we- Look at her eyes. Well, that's rude of you. That's rude. It's rude of you to judge them exclusively based off of their eyes. I hope Amanda. Let's get the patience that's oddly rude of you. The Holy moly! What the- <laughs> Riley's favorite movies, but that's my character. Tomato, you're an asshole. Dude, I'm just trying to watch season three of Amanda the Adventurer, and I'm being asked all sorts of extremely specific questions, and I just, honestly, I just thought I, I, that wasn't really what I was, like, ready for, and honest, and I mean, to be frank, it's called Amanda the Adventurer, not help Wooly through all of his bullshit. That's all I'm saying. I'm Hi. Treat. Treat. Can we get a run back on that? <laughs> Can we run that one back? I heard hi, trapdoor, treat. Well, let's. I'm. Hi. Hi. Trapdoor. Trapdoor. Hi, I'm Wooly. Trapdoor, treat. Treat. What the? Literally, 1984, dude. I'm allergic to apples. Well, that really takes the wind out of my sails. I wish you had told us sooner because I've been spending this whole fucking stream thinking he loved apple pie. Wow, I really now I kind of feel bad for Wooly. Cause this whole that really that really set the tone for the entire thing. I'm talking about peach pie instead of apple pie. Cause like I he never really said. You know, it's almost like Wooly sucks at fucking communicating, and that's really where the big issue is. Cause it took him until like the end of the game to actually explain his important allergy. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. How many chairs? How many chairs? How many mushrooms? How many chairs? How many mushrooms? How many fruit? How many fruit? How many like? How many chairs? How many mushrooms? How many? Hang on, go again. I'm allergic to apples. 
How many chairs? How many chairs? How many mushrooms? How many, mushrooms? How many fruit? How many fruit? How many lights? How many lights? Chair, mushroom, fruit, light. Hang on. Chair, mushroom, fruit, light. I fucking cannot believe this game's about to make me count how many chairs are in the room. There's actually probably not that many. I, I don't know why I thought there'd be a billion, but there's not. How many chairs? Well, it, first I need to find a fucking lock that goes with this. I'm guessing this one. Yeah. There's also one other thing I want to quickly go to before I start that. I'm allergic to apples. How many chairs? How many mushrooms? Stop right there! Did you guys see that fucking whiteboard in the back? There was like something in the back behind her that had like a weird bunch of symbols on it. I actually missed it because it went so fast. You'll see it if we go, if we loop again, you're going to see what I was talking about. And it How looked, many it looked How many fucked up. No, it wasn't Sudoku, Chad. It was like a strange, like summoning ritual. Check again. I'm a Watch. How many chairs? How many? Fucking missed it. It's over. I missed it. It must be. Yeah! Oh! You saw it! How many? How many? You saw it! You saw it! You saw it! I'm going back around. We're going back around, everyone! Hold on to something! I'm allergic to apples. How many chairs? How many? Fuck, dude! Mushrooms. How many? How many? Too early. I gotta press pause when it's on the stores. Is this like a delay to the pause? So you have to be quick. I'm allergic. To He's apple. crazy. No, watch. When How she's talking on mushrooms. Chairs? How many mushrooms? What did I fucking tell you? Do you think I'm stupid? Take a screenshot. Gonna need it. Can just grab a screenshot of that. Got it. I'm not getting owned, all right? I know how to play video games. Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. That looks like three words following some kind of code symbol. Well, 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 well. Looks like there's a way to make some kind of actual translation through this, all right? Do you think I'm a fool? Well, you guys are getting fixated on first grade math. I'm out here fucking solving the actual riddles of this world. We are not the same. We are not the same. Anyways, I do want to do the main stuff first because I feel like that's... You know, gonna come back around anyways, and I would prefer to get- I would prefer to count how many chairs there are before I do that, but we'll look back around to that. I kind of want to go back around- it's- uh, I mean, it's absolutely like- uh, there's- there's a code here with a language because there's an exclamation mark. It is saying something, uh, but I'm not gonna do it just yet. I want to figure out how many chairs there are in the room. Why? This is kind of an interesting, like, philosophical thing. Does a sofa count as a chair? Well, in that point... At that point, I think we can just brute force it. One... <laughs> okay, everyone. One chair... Or two, though I'm gonna say it's one for now. We can just scroll it up one. One chair. 
Chad, is that two mushrooms? Or that's one mushroom. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, eight. Six, one, eight, six. Then lights. One, eight, six, two. Though, no, I don't think, I don't think they count. One, eight, six, two. We'll punch in for now because I don't see a second bulb. One, eight, six, two. We can bring up the chair to two if I have to, but by then I'll already have the real answer. One, eight. Six, two. Yeah. No problem. I'm in. Why the hell do I need this bucket? Wild. Okay, well. Home movies. Found what? I think something happened over here because I got an achievement and the achievement says found goggles. Where's goggles? Is there a fish named Goggles? It shows an image of a fish. I don't care. Let's finish this quick. Shrooms? How many shrooms? How many shrooms? Okay. Get out of here. Brute forced it while missing the second chair. XD. XD! Hang on, I gotta punch in this thing before you say another goddamn word. I forgot it. Okay, carry on. What we say, Wooly? Oh, that was it. Go again. Four o one two five eight. Four o one two five eight. It's but what's first you need the key to my heart. Not inside that matters. Because it is not what you have on the outside that matters. It is what you keep on the inside that really counts. Yeah, but shut the fuck up, where's the key? God, sorry, we gotta kill Blabbit. Sorry, everyone, we gotta fucking kill Blabbit. I'm sorry. There's no evolution to really meant nothing to you. Weird. Let's talk about this. Go on, talk. I thought that I knew you. You do not have to do this. You know who, what you didn't have to do as well, Blabbit? You didn't have to make me do fucking first grade math in front of my audience. You didn't have to make me do that, but you did. But you did. You could just gave me what I needed right away, but instead you made me make a fool out of myself. Why don't you just die then? Why don't you just go ahead and die then? Dude, that's parasocial as hell. That's weird, man. I, bet I don't know you that well. That's parasocial, man. You should, uh... Give me this. Best friend? Wrong. Give me this. 
Amanda the Adventurer in We Can Share. $1,500 down the drain. Oh, fuck. Blab it. I forgot how much money you were worth uh, when I did that. Um. Fuck, dude. I mean, it, 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 we got a whole house out of this as well. It's fine. We don't have much time. Spit that out. Okay, we can share. Let's go. What the hell was that about? Where's Wooly? <laughs> Wooly? Hi! Hey. I'm Amanda. What's up, Amanda? When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. Nice. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. I don't like coloring or like stuff. Look at, at silly all. Mr. Fox. Okay, Amanda, Sharing that's Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends I don't like how I don't like that drawing. Toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Ooh, is that is that a nice wedge of br like brie cheese right there? Uh and a delicious sausage. And what is that? A uh, loose pudding? What is that, loose pudding? <laughs> Chad, I'm trying to be friendly here, guys. It's loose pudding. It's just, it's just, it's, it's chocolate pudding without the cup. Okay, honestly, if I had to pick one of these, um, I would take the, I would obviously take the fucking wedge of delicious brie cheese. Yum, that's my favorite. Is that going to be a fucking problem? Friends can share other things too. Okay, I was a little too aggro they there. They can share secrets. Uh huh. Can I share a secret with you? Yeah, hold that thought. Just gonna look around. I really don't. The secret doesn't matter. Uh, I just want to take a look around and see if there's anything new before we do it. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, honestly, Amanda, I gotta do full disclosure here. No, uh, I'm, I'm, oh. I'm live right now, so you can't. Um, I thought you were different. Well, it's just a lot of people are gonna. Oh my god! Don't fucking kill me! Oh. Well, it's good. All the trash is out of the attic, so I can sell this place. Leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if you know this, Amanda, but I actually own the property. How about you leave? How about you take your TV and you get the hell out of here? I got the, I, I got the ending where the game shames me for getting this ending. Which is actually quietly the good ending because it's the one where my character lives and doesn't get horribly traumatized more than they already are. What is this kazoo ending shit, dude? What the hell? I don't deserve this. I didn't do anything wrong! I don't think I deserve this kind of ending, but we'll go back and do the other one. You murdered Blabbot. Yeah, but they were an insanely overpriced robot that was extremely parasocial and like problematic as a result. Like, I. Okay, this is, uh. It's really... Oh, I can speak. What the hell? I can't read what any of that means anyways, but that looks like something. I 
I don't know why the hell that's my fault. I don't feel bad. Okay. I see Blabot still alive. Not for long. Oh, I forgot the code I used for this. Let's see. Two. Two eight. This was the fruit, fruit six, and two again. I'm damn, I'm good. The tape's gone. Oh yeah, because I have to get the key. I don't even need to do this part. I just have to kill Blabbit. No matter what, Blabbit has to die. Oh, it's a damn shame, Blabot. Damn shame what I gotta do to you. Shut up. Damn, man. There goes fifteen hundred dollars USD. Shit. All right, let's finish this again. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Pick up the. All right, let's finish this for the last time. Skip this. Yeah, the snack. I want the loose pudding, honestly. Actually, that sounds just lovely today. Yum, that's my favorite. Do you just say that for everything? Friends can share other things too. Amanda, do you know how to formulate your own secret. opinion? Can I share a secret with you? Or are you just a sheep? Just like Wooly. Amanda. But yeah, you can. Are you sure? It's a big secret. <sighs> All right, guys, everyone plug up your ears. Is yeah. it really okay to share my secret with you? Yeah. I'm out there. Stop. Somewhere. What? Oh, oh, oh my mother of I rock that shit, Amanda! Ugh! Whoa! Damn. Thank God I had that brick. So that was the real ending, but it's definitely a, it was so punchy and just done so fast that it feels like it's also a joke ending and I can't help but feel like I missed something, you know what I mean? Like, I can't help but feel like something's wrong. Just not, not like specifically because the other ending. Hang on, I should watch this. Remember that code? Remember the, remember the, remember the thing? There's a chance I did miss something. What the fuck is this? What does that mean?
I'm gonna continue for a second. Honestly, chat, I'm not planning on 100%ing the whole game here. But I am still curious about these symbols, like converting these, but there's no, problem is without a letter accompanied with one of these or like something to actually get like part of the cipher here, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do that. Is that the same book? Yeah, it's the same one. I've got a screenshot of it, but without having like something to follow along with as a cipher, I don't really know how I'm supposed to figure that one out. Hmm. All in all, really cool game though. Uh, I really liked it. Although some of the some of the spots where it had like auto saves and stuff were a little bit confusing. Um, cause it seemed a little inconsistent. Uh, but I liked it. I did. I quite enjoyed myself. Hope you liked the music from the music coordinator. I liked, I liked all of it. My complaints are more of nitpicks than anything. I did quite enjoy myself. And honestly, if it wasn't for chat making me extremely stressed out via backseating initially probably would have been less on edge no you guys didn't stress me out with the math that was personally me stressing myself out that's just the uh, that's just a side effect of any presence in a in a video game where you're streaming and you have to do math that wasn't chat that was stressing me out that was, you know like the, the thing that stresses me out is when I'm like trying to solve something and people are either a giving unwarranted back seating, which, I mean, note the fucking pin. I, I, it's, I don't want to see it. Or B, the alternative to back seating, which is instead going fucking finally when the streamer takes more than five minutes to solve something. Uh, those, those two things, you want the fastest way for me to fucking get pissed if I chat audit someone? See that in their fucking chat audit. All right. <laughs> that one, that one drives me up the wall, dude. Holy crap. Finally, he fucking did it. But yeah, I had a good time. No hard feelings if you got timed out for a week, chat. Please don't hassle my mods about it. If you missed the pin, uh, you'll be back in a week and you'll be okay. You'll live. You'll be fine. But, I mean, you missed the pin. You missed the uh, part where I told you about a thousand times over the course of, like, 80 streams uh, where stuff like this matters that uh, you'd be punished for. It. And if you whiffed all those and you still somehow got banned, uh, you'll be back in a week. It was only a week ban. So you'll be back. Uh, and maybe when you come back, you won't do that again. You know? Think about it. Think about it. Anyways, chat, I will be back tomorrow. Uh, I have a little short stream. I, I, it might be another horror thing. Um, there's a fishing game that came out a couple days ago that I do want to play. I'm not sure if it'll be the thing, but uh, I do want to play it. So I don't, I, we might do something else tomorrow just because I, I don't really like doing like two days straight of like horror stuff. But maybe. We'll see. Because it is going to be it's gonna be a shorter stream tomorrow because I have D&D &D in the afternoon or in the evening. But yeah. I'm not going to 100% this game. We're going to wrap up here because, uh, I mean, hell, if you want to fucking check out the rest of it, it's on Steam. You can just get it yourself and figure it out. There's mysteries, I'm sure, still out there and plenty of things I missed, so. I will catch you all in the next one tomorrow at 3 p.m.-ish EST. Thank you, people that behaved and didn't get all obnoxious about backseating and stuff. I know it can be hard to watch the streamer bumble around and not see everything perfectly, but uh, I do appreciate the people that, you know, behaved and helped keep it fun for me. So thank you. Uh, thanks if you gifted subs or donate bits and etc. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks. Hang on, I definitely... I see notifications. I'm going to scroll through this quick. Uh, thank you, uh, Cat... Oh, this happened off stream and they thought I would miss it uh, or they thought I wouldn't see it. I don't know if they want me to read it out, but 
What they don't know won't hurt them. Thanks, Katzpah2, for the 50 gifted subs. It happened off stream. You tried to sneak it around me. You didn't. So, thanks. Do you think I'm a fool? Thanks, Retta, for the five gifted subs as well. Thanks. All right, chat. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry if I got a little grumpy. Sometimes these puzzle games get me that way, but I do appreciate you hanging out. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.